Yeah, you can kind do that. I'm making a solo tier list or a squad tier list. So, so that's the thing. We should we should sort of preface by talking about that. Wait, what? Sorry. So, so, so there is it is worth mentioning that characters are better or worse in in different queues. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a point too. So, so it. Hang on, let me finish setting up this text thing. So, so basically, the, the thing that's worth mentioning is that. Characters will do better or worse in different queues. I think everyone kind of already knows that. Um, right off the top of my head, I could say right now, Hajin will have a slightly different valuation for solo and squad. So will Hyun, in my opinion. So yeah, characters like that. So so we'll, we'll try to we'll try to keep it. We'll try to mention when a character is significantly better or worse in a specific queue. Um, but in general, I think I think the tiers are pretty much the same across the board. But we'll see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ninth underscore, yes. So basically, no one underscore. <laughs> <laughs> <get> my name. <laughs> I, I misspelled it a couple times before I got it actually right eventually. No, it's okay. Everyone misspelled it. No, I was, I was doing it intentionally. Um, but anyway, so so basically, <clears throat> first things first. Uh, first things first. I have to actually open the Notepad file so I know what we're talking about. Very professional. All right. So first things first. Let's talk about um, what is different from the previous patch to this patch. Like, what do you, what do you guys think? And I'm not talking characters. I don't want to talk specific characters. I just want to know broad state of a of a match. What is jumping out to you that's different now than it was in the previous patch? Uh, for me, there's a lot more of decline of range characters for sure. Okay. Uh, We've seen a uh, heart and there's a heart is a here and Aya being nerfed. Uh, they've become a lot less popular now. Yeah, that's definitely true. Um, for me, something I was gonna bring up is actually just the fact that we're seeing a lot more uh, traps in general. We started to see traps show up yeah. in, at the end of the last patch because uh, we had a lot, a lot of people spamming fire traps. But I think I think we're seeing more movement towards claymores and guillotines, double guillotines. I mean that's just because the claymores and guillotines didn't have their stun slash root effects. Oh yeah, so that's that true. Survey, so fire traps were just better. It is true. Yeah, they didn't they didn't yeah. have those before. What Being I think that makes. Oh, sorry, you can finish Ashen. No, I wasn't saying anything of value. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, so, um, what? Why I think guillotines and claymores and so forth are a lot better than fire traps now. Like, like we're seeing a lot more guillotines uh, for sure compared to fire traps now. And, well, partly because Skaz is, you know, <laughs> been spamming them, but I I've also been conv convinced that guillotines are better because the problem with fire traps is that they take time to detonate and you can sort of trigger them at the outer edges and just walk out of it to yeah. sort of waste them out. But for things like guillotine and claymores, you have to, like, be extremely close to them to destroy them unless you're a ranged character, which makes you vulnerable to uh, attacks if for the people who are planting them or... Uh, in, right. in, the, in the case too, if you don't have a camera, you might just walk straight into it without even knowing until you already hit hit by it. Right, it right. In in general, they're just harder to to play around. You can't just you can't just walk up to them and then walk away to to remove it. You actually have to commit time and attacks to clearing them out. Uh, except for I think the only real exception is Easel. But if he W's to clear your traps, you can generally just jump on him. So they're they're definitely harder to deal with. And and people are starting to figure out how to put them into their builds. They just root and stun you, and that uh, turns out that's pretty good. Turns out it is pretty good. Extra stuns on people that you don't have to actually spend any of your cooldowns to get, and a yeah. bunch of damage. Like it's not like it's not like double guillotines aren't doing damage. Like they they're chunking you because you're hitting twenty trap mastery. They're chunking you for like five hundred HP ish. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's affected by defense. Do you guys know if it's affected by defense? No. So uh, I think the I number that pop up is purple, so I think it's, it's like spell damage. 
Hmm. I think I mean, spell damage is effect by defense. Is it, oh, is it? Okay, I might have been Yeah. I remember hearing someone said that it, it isn't. I don't know. Flat skill amplification isn't effect by defense. Like, uh, Schrodinger's box damage isn't effect by defense. Uh, let me... So, so yeah. yeah. Uh, Gino, what are your thoughts? I never heard from you. I have no thoughts. <laughs> Not, nothing to add. You, you guys hit everything. Just food is just another major difference from the last patch. It's a lot harder to be topped out on one KHP uh, food items. I mean, it's not like traps have traps have always been OP, right? We've just been too bad to build them. I, that's see that that's been my impression is that yeah. traps are something that have always been great. It's just that people are finally getting to the point where they're comfortable with their six items and they're able to build traps in them too. Because I mean, sure. that, I can just speak from my own personal experience. That's been my progression is I'm finally getting to the point where I'm comfortable building them. Yeah, that definitely has to be true. Because I remember the first time I saw remote mind views, I was like, wait, this is actually starting to do a lot of damage. Yeah. They're spreading it around. Like, hey, we should actually start holding out for remote minds. We can just start holding force, force cards. Everyone's just leaving them on the wick. Made an active objective in the game that pretty much no one was taking because we just weren't noticing it was good. I, I agree. I do think it started with people first noticing remote minds. I think it was like uh, Yunhae was using them. And then, like... People went like, oh shit, like this isn't a joke anymore. And then I remember Shellx messaging me going like, yo, you should check this out. Like this is actually good. And then that's and then we started seeing Ashen running a bunch of fire traps. <laughs> like 20 fire traps. That's so good. You just build like 20 fire traps. You can never lose the game. Yeah, it's impossible. Definitely can't just play Jackie and run through all of them and not get hurt by any of them. I've blocked out those memories. <laughs> Jackie uh, with fire trap. Yeah, that's just part of why fire traps aren't, aren't that great either. You, she just she just runs through right through. Them. You just sprint straight through them. Oh yeah, just, that doesn't do anything. Um, chains claim also way better. Sure. I was thinking there's also a correlation between fire traps being worse, but just oil being a lot worse of a material in general now. Mm -hmm. Oil is that's another thing is that oil is just lower value for sure. I haven't picked up oil in like ever. Yeah, you just I haven't picked it up this patch. I, whenever I pick up oil, it's just to hoard all the oil cloth ever. I was gonna say, it's, it's for traps. Yeah, it's for yeah. oil cloth. I'm trying to, like, set up the stream as well. Why am I just, like, a white blob? I don't know. It's Because I, I think it what it does is it takes... It, it assigns you a color, like, based on your profile picture. I assume. And yours is just, like, white. You only have white and black, so it's either <laughs> that... <laughs> just a white, a white rectangle. Um, I see, I see. Yeah. So yeah, I, I feel like I feel like traps are, are are definitely like one of the biggest additions. Um. So let's see here. Yeah. So so actually, that 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 brings me to my next point. Why are melees doing so much better now? Is it because specific characters got big buffs, or is it because? Specific characters got big nerfs, or I don't know. What do you guys think about why we're seeing so many dominant melee characters? Is it a meta thing, or is it just a specific character thing? Uh, in, from my perspective, I think it was. It started out, out as a shift from uh because, you know how, auto attack damage reduction was so like strong like at the very beginning. Was it at the very beginning of beta or at the end of closed beta? Ugh, I don't remember. But uh, they are seeing so much uh anti auto attack. Uh, for like sword stoppers and all that stuff and like the body armor and helmets like they just reduce auto attack damage and it made characters like um, Nadine a lot weaker too and like auto attack builds in general just fell off like Car Carnewinen I think that's how you pronounce Car it yeah, Carnewinen like, something like that so the, those are to fall out fall off so like and, and those um what those builds focused on was like m quick uh, a lot of attacks in a short amount of time and just like um what's it called capitalizing on like the an extra normal attack bonus but then the, the direct counter of that made made it do like no damage and in order to go around that extra auto attack damage reduction people started stacking crit to uh to just hit for huge numbers instead because yeah huge numbers it just deals way better with like the small numerous mitigations of the extra auto attack damage reduction yeah people are stacking lots of flat damage reduction the higher your number the better rather than the the, the like, you don't want a lot of I, like you don't want a, a lot of of small attacks, you want uh, a few big attacks. 
because then flat reduction will, will just re reduce it less. So I think that's definitely part of it. I mean, it's also con a contribution to that is because the crit build is so easy to get through. Like that, that is true, yeah. Too. Uh, I I started to notice that when like Yuki started building so much crit. Yeah. Too. Like it was very very fast. It was right around the time Yuki was getting too good. Everyone started actually noticing that the crit build was like, it was like it was like Yuki and B Max, right around the same time last patch. Everyone was like, wait a minute, we can just build the entire crit, you know, full armor set in those three zones down there, and it's super easy. Yeah, and then what ended up happening is those characters would have control of basically the entire right side of the map, and one of them would just kind of cannibalize the other, so whoever comes out is just absurdly strong. Yeah, yeah. And they just roll the game from there. It's like whoever finishes enough of their items first just, like, absorbs all of the strength of the other ones around them who didn't quite finish it in time. Yeah, so uh, back to that why melees are so prevalent now to choose. Uh, because because uh, crit heavily benefits off of higher stats, right? And we see, like, all these stat sticks on... Um, the majority of them are on like the melee weapons you see like uh axes and spears you know and those belong to characters like fiora and jackie which we uh see a lot of now too so my, my question to you actually is are stat sticks a mistake and will we see them leaving the game soon i feel like they definitely should uh need some nerfs because players are getting a lot better too because um the it seems like the game tries to balance itself out by making the stat sticks um uh the weapons with better stats are weapons that generally require a lot more zones to complete, but players are reaching the point where they're so fast and efficient that it, even though a weapon requires like three or four zones, it people can build it, build them incredibly fast, and the payoff is just huge. And as well as the meta shifting more towards a, a slower pace uh, towards end game, uh, we see like they usually have time to complete some of those longer uh, length weapons too. So it makes uh, the the less uh, statted weapons uh, just sort of redundant yeah so and and yeah cal just brought up a good point too uh despite the fact that what we, we are saying sort of that like crit is a big reason why melee is doing well right now but also we've got on the other side of the spectrum we've got hyun and magnus who are both mostly building spell amp i mean and i think it's they're doing great to too do with crit and stuff i think just every range character got nerfed and every melee character got buffed like do you think, it, you think it's just a, a character? It's, it's a per character thing. You don't think it's. You don't think there's any other reason. Apparently, it's a character thing. Okay. I, I mean, kind of, I kind of feel like. I kind of agree. I got heavily nerfed. Nadine, Sahir, Tar. Ah, yeah. Like, yeah. Crit never got touched. So. But was it because obviously... did they get nerfed because they were too strong, or was it because they were ranged? I mean, I think they got enough because their range seems to be. I don't know the logic. Uh, so, so some of them definitely were uh, pretty strong too, but um, I feel like some of the nerfs uh, was definitely overkill. Zaheer uh, didn't deserve that. What he got? <laughs> no, he did deserve that. He didn't <laughs> not, deserve that not extent. Are they nerfed yeah. every single weapon? They crazy. fucking destroyed that man. Yeah, and. Most... Uh, but it's just straightforward over nerf. It's just Zaheer straight up. I think on the tier list we created, I just have a tier that says Zaheer. Zaheer. <laughs> uh, I'm actually so excited to get into tier list. I don't know though. I I well. It, we'll we'll I, talk about that. We'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah okay, we'll, we'll transition to that later. Yeah. We'll talk about the tier list yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, I'm I'm one v nine. Brought up an interesting topic too that I I've been kind of a big fan of for a long time. What do you guys think about the possibility of more unique effects on items to replace statics? I am all for that. Yeah, I think uh, items in this game kind of suck. I think increasing uh, skill ceiling through like, well, I wouldn't say like, it's not huge because it's like one of few, like a few buttons, but having more button presses kind of slightly increases the skill cap. I do want actives. I've said that since the alpha. Yeah, keep in mind, unique effects don't necessarily have to be actives, but I agree I do also want actives as well. I think we need active items. Yeah, um, I agree. We already do have a unique effect in the game, but it's just... We, we have we have like named... One, one named unique effect and then two sort of like stat unique effect. The named one being uh, healing reduction. It's on a couple items at this point. And the other one yeah. being... I, I would consider like the out of combat movement speed to be sort of a unique effect. It's it's not just it's not just a stat, you know. 
it, it feels like it's a, a different dimension. I yeah, that makes sense. I kind of agree. That's fair enough. So I feel like I feel like they're already kind of experimenting in that in that territory, but I, I'd like to see more because then then it, it becomes to me the re my, my my big reason why I advocate for it is that it feels like it's harder to just compare one item to another just strictly on stats if you have a unique effect added to it. Yeah, because those things aren't necessarily yeah. as quantifiable. Whereas just straight up stats, you can it's, you can actually just compare something and one will be strictly better than the other or not. I feel like lifesteal is in a similar boat to out of combat movement speed. It's kind of like hard to define whether it's good or not. I mean, it kind of sucks right now, but if they made it all Whoa. lifesteal items, lifesteal more. Wait, are you talking about lifesteal sucking it, or it, out of combat movement speed sucking? I'm talking about lifesteal. I think it's a, a good effect to have on items. I agree. Because you have to like compare it to health and you it's not obvious which is better. I, yeah, I think, think gated behind the BF blood sample, it'd be fun to use. That is true. A lot of the really good lifesteal items are gated behind VF blood sample. Yeah. yeah. They're gated uh, by either blood sample or blueprint, with blueprint generally being pretty slow of an item. Blueprint yeah. is not easy to make. No. About lifesteal items, uh, Valkyrie would be very happy hearing us talk about lifesteal uh, as a. Uh, <laughs> 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 he heavily likes butler suits. He does he actually? The classic butler suit. Yeah, he did run it. Close like data. It. He was definitely running it. I mean, lifesteal just needs both. They should like increase the lifesteal values by like, twenty percent on every item and see what happens. I think that would uh, make the game interesting for sure. Uh, so actually, so speaking, uh, speaking of items, speaking of stuff that is good or bad, how do we feel about food right now? Good. Yeah. All right, and the next subject. <laughs> so, <laughs> of like, like, what, what do you guys think? Like, so, some, somebody speak up. I, I kind of want to pass it over to like Gino or Show. I feel like I've been. Yeah, Gino Show. You guys have been quiet. Give us, give us some content. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, so the thing about the food nerfs is that it significantly changed the the way the game is played right now because just a lot of items that you'd heavily value like milk and oil pretty much been nerfed to the point where the food is barely usable so anything along those routes have been hurt really hard and then we end up with good characters that are able to use skill amp to skill amp health items have been increased to the point where they just end up controlling the early game i feel like i'm just making bait carp now like with the new changes and... yeah that's bad, right? It's, it's, it's not yeah, good. Yeah. Carp or healing potions. It's pretty much the variety in the game for food has been taken out nearly completely. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. So, I think. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I was like, um, well, this is kind of like go off into like another uh, longer dis discussion. So I, I, I'd say you should probably continue up, continue with yours before we get sidetracked. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh! Like finish my thought on food. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I think I think the problem right now is just there's too many lopsided, just like strictly worse crafts on on heated oil. I think heated oil becoming terrible is a bad idea. I think butter becoming terrible is a bad idea. I agree with nerfing butter because butter was too easy, but it's. I don't think butter was too easy. You don't think so? You just need milk. Maybe like a little nerfed butter fried potatoes, like eight hundred, but. Yeah. Anytime I tried to like make butter fried potatoes, my inventory became a mess, and I had to get branches from like Narnia, and it was just. I think oh. my my issue is it is that like every potato like potatoes and and branches are just on the ground everywhere. And the other problem is that when you're starting chapel and hospital, those starts were getting pound cake pretty much instantaneously at the start of the game. Yeah, so all of the breaths became incredibly safe. There is one thing to say about hospital though is that you can still make. Uh, what's it called? First the, aid kits. The health kits. Yeah, the first aid kits just in hospital. So it's still possible there, it's just people tend to not do it as much. I think I think if they maybe made butter two instead of just they one per craft, I, I think one. making it one per craft is just way too much. Like, or I way too much in, in terms of way too much of a nerf. With, with the same health values? Talking to me? Like, yeah. Two uh, butter keep the same health values or what? Yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be fine. 
Because I, at the, I mean, even if they were two, even if they were three, I wouldn't be using them. Because why would I want a bunch of six hundred or is it six fifties for pound cakes? Yeah, when I could uh, just start on. You just roll through pond or forest bad, and get literally. a bunch of seven hundreds. Yeah, I, I I use it as like a quick early food. It's, it's like a double hamburger. It's not too bad, but yeah. Yeah, the problem with pound cake was that it was just a mid game food that you got right in your pocket. Yeah, yeah. Game. Yeah, I, I agree. It was a problem before. I just don't think the current state is is a good way to tone it down. Yeah, I think two butter is definitely fine, if only just because that way you can actually use it on both bread, and it doesn't just make your inventory slightly clunky. Yeah. Yeah. Just sitting on two pound cake is just not. Four, four pound cake sounds good to me. I don't. I don't think anyone's like, oh no, four pound cake, because you can just like orchid. Hello, orchid. Yeah, what's four pound cake in comparison to six healing potions? Honestly. Yeah, like, ah, uh, man, I. Uh, oh, it's a very cool item. Is orchid too good? Uh, I'd say yes. It's. I think it's too good. It, it is very too good. It's. It, it requires less effort than pound cake, and it requires in a heal seven hundred. So how do we nerf? Do so if you're in, you guys hypothetically, let's go around the table. You're in charge of nerfing orchid. What do you do? Uh, Aether, start with you. Uh, so it currently makes two, two, right? Uh, you go one, one, and then you get two out of it. Correct. Yeah. Uh, I feel like if you're gonna make it that huge, maybe reduce it down to one, just to maybe put it closer on par with a uh, fish cutlet now, which got huge nerfed, even though it's a blue tier. Uh. Right now it's green tier and it's very much more efficient than fish cutlet, uh, and it's very close to baked carp too, for sure. And the orchid just you make too much out of it, especially you get like multiple value out of it too when you uh, combine it into the health potion. It's just very efficient. So I feel like reducing it to one if you want to keep this current value is fine. You know, show <laughs> Yeah, I was just thinking about it because. The problem with Orchid is that when it's either Forest or Pond to get Orchid pretty much all the time. And both of those locations start right next to Glass Bottles, so... Nerfing yeah. Orchid's HP value itself is probably, for the most part, inconsequential. So it's either you nerf Healing Potion, maybe you bring it down to two Healing Potions. Or you'd have to nerf Orchid down to one. You could touch the HP value for Healing Potions, but then that just probably doesn't make any sense. I think if you touch the... I know it's not my turn, but if you if you touch the value for healing potion, I think you, you kind of kill healing potion. I think to me, yeah. In my opinion, seven hundred is my baseline for something I'm willing to use past early game. Like anything less than that is basically not worth using. Yeah, I I agree with that completely. Hundred percent. I don't waste time on that. Uh, Ashton, how do you feel about this? How would you nerf orchid? I don't know, I think you can nerf orchid to like 500 or something, and it does matter. But then, you need to nerf healing potions to like 2, but even then, you have 2 orchid, 2 glass bottles, you just made 4 700 food for like 3. Yeah. It's just, it's still kind of insane. I think you nerf healing potions to like 650 as well. So, basically, my... Or you nerf orchid to 1. Or you nerf orchid to 1. I think, I think the way I would nerf it... Or just me deciding. I think I would take Orchid to 400 HP. And I think I would also take Healing Potions to 2 per craft. I think I think that's what I would do. Because because the thing yeah. the thing that bothers me the most about Orchid, this is this seriously bothers the shit out of me, is that uh on start, your two food options are Orchid, which is the herb plus the flower. Or herbal medicine, which is the herb plus the turtle shell. And currently, the orchid craft is you get two 700s for the craft. The turtle shell craft, the metal, the medicine craft, you get one 600. Yeah, yeah, that's just strictly. It's it's interesting. It's yeah. there's it, definitely some problems with it. The makes no sense. Balancing yeah. on the same tiers. So that that to me that just having orchid be at the same level or more health than the herbal medicine. Is just a glaring mistake. It should be less than it, so I think it should be down to four hundred. Yeah, and then um, that's, the, that's the exact problem we have with baked carp compared to uh, fish cutlet and French fries now. Yes, that too. Well, similar, but yes. Yeah. And um, healing potions. I mean, the problem is if you just nerf 
Orchid down to 400 doesn't solve the fact that you flood your inventory with healing potions in Avenue, so I'm going to say healing potions down to 2 per craft would be good. Um, Cal with a question. By the way, uh, if anyone has any questions, questions are definitely open. If anyone wants to, you know, throw something out there, we'll, we'll try to address anything that we can, but no guarantees. But yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask us. We're, we're happy to answer. Um, so Cal, Cal asks, where do you think food should be ideally? Like, how strong do you want food to be in general, and how available do you want it to be? Uh, Gino, you're going to go first. If you want to pass it, let your answer marinate, you can pass it. Alright, you know, I'll pass it. I don't have too strong of an opinion on this. Anyone want to jump on this? I kind of do. Like, I kind of want... Uh, like to be some top end food that's actually good but it's not just fish and chips like make heated oil bread again because <laughs> right now all food feels so homogenous it's just like I don't know. yeah i agree with you i'm actually gonna jump off what you just said i want something to bridge the gap uh between 800s and fish and yeah i know there's mocha bread at 975 that's probably the closest you're gonna get i know there's a couple like 1000s but they're like really not common I like the and mocha bread there's like the med kit. So there, there's there's a handful of things in the middle there, but I feel like I feel like we should I don't know, maybe we should bring That's a really tough question. I I really don't I don't really know. I don't know if I like how food is right now. I, really I, I agree, it feels very homogenous. What know, if just... Okay, hang on real quick. What if we tied this all together with our previous topic? Unique effects on food. Like what? What's an example? Like, I can't even think like, of one. Like damage buffs or something like that? Yeah, well, that'd be... Like legends, maybe? There's something like that for Dylan. If you drink alcohol... Yeah, you get attack speed. She yeah. gets... Yeah, attack speed. Do you think it would make that Dylan a, bit, a little bit less unique, though, if they added stuff like that? Maybe. It actually yeah. makes me think of something. What if... For some of... Like, maybe you craft, like... You know, it's a blue or, or some, some sort of high tier food, maybe mocha bread, like that kind of difficulty to craft. Doesn't actually heal you for that much, but it gives you some sort of buff. That kind of stuff might be pretty good because then people actually have to weigh the options. Do I want to be stronger? Or do I want to be actually regening in fights? Food won't be as one dimensional. Yeah, that is true. Because if you make them cover the same uh, buff, uh, like the. Yeah, you can't stack them. Buff, you can't stack them. You have to queue. So I, I think that that adds a lot of um, situational. Uh, situations where the player would have to choose between and they would definitely make food a lot more interesting too. Yeah, I, I actually like just thought of that. I kind of like it. Like, I, I do kind of like it. They'd have to be very small though. They can't they can't be like 30% spelling up or some shit. It has to be something something small. Just, just enough that people go, I really want that tiny, tiny, tiny little edge. I just want a little bit more power. I want a little bit more defense. It's, and they're willing to sacrifice the healing for it. For. Just like, you know that you're going to have an important fight soon. You're coming to your house spot, and maybe you need a bit of a fire spike. Just buying an elixir in the league. Just something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually, really I like that idea. idea. I think... Oh, kind ahead. of call when you start running fast or something. I think also, in general, it just adds a little bit more strategic depth, uh, strategic depth to the game. Which I think the game could use right now. Uh, Kalimdir also uh, mentioned another question in the chat about the food. Uh, about food, uh, how do you think it's possible to run out, run out of food right now? Uh, how like food is very easy to obtain right now, so you just have so much uh, food in your inventory just because they bumped up a lot of the efficiency. So you get like a one for two instead now. Well, this baked cart being extremely uh, prevalent and accessible. Yeah, it does. Oh, go ahead. I regularly have like 15 baked carp in my inventory at the end of the game. Same. I was about to say, I'm basically not running out of food for the entire game. Yeah, so. It's almost never happening. Building off yeah. of that, I'd like to talk about some ideas that I was thinking of earlier. Where, uh, should, like, should carp, uh, and uh, other food items, uh, like, well, even though, like, cod is very, uh, weak right now in comparison to carp, uh, stuff like those root. Those kind of foods that respawn, would you guys think it would be a good idea to have the respawn timers like increase to so where people can't just reroute back to you know forest? Because I 
I do it a lot too. I fish in forests for a little bit, make some food, and then like a little bit later, I'll loop back and I fish in that same spot, right? Uh, I feel like some of you guys might do that too. Yeah. 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 So I feel like would increasing the respawn timer for COD or maybe permanently, I don't know, like, it, that's extreme, but maybe permanently removing them like stones and sticks across the map make uh, food a lot more uh, valuable and people just don't spam it or you just ha don't have infinite food. Yeah. I think I think that would be a good change. I support that. It also would make it something maybe to, to maybe that's that's part of your yeah. build. You know, you, you you take a you take the forest carp out early, and that that'll screw over some people later on. Yeah, I, like it. I, I think that it would be very interesting to have uh, people contest you know food sources sort of similar to Tree of Life. Maybe it's not to like that extent extent, but uh, yeah, I, I think uh, it would be pretty nice just because food is so accessible right now. Yeah, I agree. Um, Cal also brings up another good point on fire right now. Um, is there too much fish in pond? There's actually there's, so much. Yeah, there, is, yeah. there are nine fucking nodes of carp. Nine. Oh god, okay. What were you saying, Shorts? It Shorks? is a pond, though. Uh, cemetery does have, uh, have, uh, two. Sem has two. Sem has two. Sem has two, forest has two, pond has nine. It's this is significant. Honestly, absurd. Yeah. I feel like increasing uh, these the, the timers or making big carp uh, or carp limited uh, by permanently removing it would help diversify like food too and make people seek out other food opportunities too. Yeah, I'm for that. So another thing to consider is that previously cod was better than carp. We'd all agree on that, right? Yeah. Yep. Cod? No. Okay. I think it was situational. If you only had like one lighter, you were probably better off making carp. Okay. Even if you can't get oil. Yeah, if you can't get oil. Yeah. If you only have heated rocks, I agree. But like, in general... In general, but it, there was like a balance between quantity and, you know, the amount healed. Yeah, don't, don't get me wrong, like, Gino and I have slammed our fair share of big cart before this patch. But, I, I, in general, I think most people would agree that COD was a bit more powerful because you'd get those higher... I'll say more or less. Yeah, so, so more or less. But my, my point is... COD is harder to get because it's in zones that go red more, more, like early in the game, than uh, than than carp. Because carp's in forest, and for those who haven't figured it out by now, forest generally is the last zone to go red, almost every time. It's it, of, I think of all the zones, it goes red last, the least of everybody, or sorry, the most of everybody. Um, and that's because it's like a central hub to like most of the map. It's also where the trees of life are, so they generally don't want it to go red too early too often. But basically, my point is, is carp is available late game, early game, because of, of forest. Whereas cod is not necessarily going to stay on the map. So should the rarer fish be more powerful than the common fish? I mean, I think so, for sure. Yeah, Makes sense to me, right? Yeah. So yeah, the the fact that COD's just worse right now, and and, and another thing, I just realized we, we are we are on a very long discussion about food. But I guess it's really important. Um, another thing about COD is that like when we were talking to Aesop during like kind of when we were having a chat with him about the patch notes, I basically asked like why why are we nerfing fish cutlet so much? And his his best explanation was, well, it's used for fish and chips, and fish and chips is the best food in the game. Do you think that's enough of a reason for Fish cutlet to be as bad as it is on its own. I think fish cutlet being so good was actually an active deterrent to making fish and chips of pretty much anything. Yeah, in the game. yeah. I, I agree with that. I feel like having uh, fish cutlet's value too close to fish and chips made fish and chips is not worth it. I think fish and chips is a bit more worth it now, but at the same time, you're not using as much resources uh, if you just rather you know go for big carp instead and have infinite food. You know. Yeah. I mean, the problem with fish and chips is that you need heated oil, like, you need, like, two lighters at least, and then you only craft three, and you need to get oil, and then you need to actually go around the map collecting potatoes and cod, and then you actually need to craft it. It just takes so long, and you could just spend that time making clay mods. Yep. Oh, I couldn't possibly agree with you more. I think the value of getting a bunch of high tier traps is, is far higher than making fish and chips right now. I mean, I think fish and chips needs a buff. I... Uh, do you? 
Because yeah. if you buff fish and chips, then you have, you have Shukai's making 3k yeah. fish and chips. Like, do you yeah. want that? Is that the world you want to live in? Uh, Shukai needs all the help he can get. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he, yeah, he, for me, he's not as strong as I was expecting him. Same. That was, that was so hype. I, I don't know <laughs> Gino. He, I'm honestly still trying to figure out why he landed so flat. He landed so flat. My man. <laughs> I mean, oh man. Yeah, Gino in particular. I made an account just for you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> like so the worst funny. character. Oh my god. Dude, no, I, remember... I remember there. there that's a one fight though. Uh, I'm pretty sure you were playing Magnus in custom game. I like almost beat you with yes. Shikai. I was like, yes. I, I had, I needed to work so hard for that, but I was like so close to outplaying you. I was like, oh my god. That's yeah, scary. that that was the one build I saw that at least did decent. It was a lot of work. Yeah. So that's another thing to think about is that if if Shukai wasn't shit, <laughs> would would food being the way it is feel better? Like, are we are we happy that all the food is lower now? Because we don't understand that it would actually be completely broken if Shukai was good and the food was still good. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, fine uh, right now to keep its value. It's just so that Shukai doesn't become, uh, you know, a placebo regen build with insane food, you know? Yeah. Because, yeah, we don't want a repeat of regen. But the thing about, like, he's not even... He wouldn't even be truly regen, because at least... His food is finite. He can only fill his inventory so yeah. much. Regen was yeah. literally like, hey, by the way, it never runs out. Like, you can't kill me, you're never gonna kill me. Like, that's just sort of how it was. Um, but yeah, so 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 Shukai. I think before we even talk tier lists, we all agree Shukai sucks. Everyone knows it. How would you buff Shukai to fix him? Does anyone have any ideas how to fix him? I think him? you just have to up his numbers. That's give him give him the Hagen treatment? I think you have to until you find a balance. I feel like if they fix his ult to be more like a consistent damage, similar to like Rumble from League of Legends, uh, Flamethrower, it'd be a lot better just because there are times when there's a melee on top of you, and if they cross you up, just yeah. having to turn around and mess up your DPS because there's that one, uh, you know, because he shoots out his, his, um, the flames out of his ult like once per second or something like that. And there's that one second gap where, like, this is a dead zone where it doesn't do, do, do damage, and it can uh, apply. Like, you can you can shoot out one of your flames while you're doing that 90 degree turn, and you can waste a DPS like that. His ult's only good when people are running away from him. Yeah, like, no one is running from a shoot guy right now. <laughs> yeah, melees that stick onto him and cross him up a lot makes his ult very weak. Yeah. I don't think I've ever ran from a Shukai, but it seems like his kit is meant for you to try and run from him and completely fail. Yeah. The, yeah. the best combo I had is using the D skill, uh, the spear, to push them away, and then I ult so they have to get at least a bit closer so it'll tank more of my ult damage. But other yeah. than that, it's very uh, not not that great. So I've only played him a few times, and because like why would I subject myself to that? But I've only played him a few times, and... The thing that stuck out to me was that all of his, it felt like all of his abilities felt slow to use. Like his E has a long wind up and a long wind down. And for a mobility skill, okay, it doesn't yeah. feel very mobile. Yeah, his E yeah. is very, uh, I hate the end lag on it for sure. It's, yeah. Uh, sometimes I, I just want to use it to escape, but like when I'm stuck in that spinning animation near the end, people just start to catch up. I'm like, why did I do this in the first place? I could have just walked. Yeah, and I feel like th that's almost an issue that's never going to change because they've already shown with Magnus that the issue with balancing characters based on their animations is they, they really can't change their animations without like a lot of internal animation work. It's not just like we can't just tune the numbers in the same way that they can just be like, well, Aya has less damage now, you know, so I, that, I'm worried about him for that reason that that's not going to get fixed. And he's just always going to have clunky movement. So, that's my personal issue with him. Plus his numbers, he just doesn't do damage. Uh, so yeah, I think that I think that just about covers like everything for, for just general non, you know, tier listy stuff. Is there any, is there anything that someone wanted to bring up? Is there anything that sticks out to you right now? I had one last note about Carp, particularly because I was looking at Heated Sun. 
and most of the heated stone items are they're two bad ones. It turns out baked carp and baked potato are actually just pretty good compared to grilled chili and sea bass. Can we talk about grilled chili and sea bass? Can we, I like this. Can, can we talk about the grilled chili and sea bass? Because I think all right. we all know it's. I don't even know the recipe. Well, fucking it's terrible. Hold on. Ah, is is, is Shoix lagging for you guys too? Yeah, he is. It's like robotic. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I, I get Wait, okay, try, try talking, Shoix. Uh, yeah, my internet's been a little choppy recently. I'm not sure why. Okay. Okay, it's fine right now. Yeah, you sound good now. Yeah, but I'm probably going to occasionally drop and just have the stutters and robot voices. All right. So sorry about that. Give it another shot. Okay, so one thing I was looking at when I was looking at the heated stuff is to grill chili and sea bass. When you're comparing it to the other locals, which is baked potato. <laughs> no. He is so unlucky. <laughs> so, oh my god. Anyway. Oh no. They're trying. As soon as you start to explain, <laughs> it just goes. They're trying to shut him off so before he so says it. What is what I think Shows is trying to say is that grilled chili and sea bass is a really good item. Yes, I and yes. All foods be like that. He's trying to Why say that when compared to baked carp, it's so good. So bad. <laughs> 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 so so, the thing that bothers me about grilled chili and sea bass is that it crafts off of cod, and cod and bass they're not the same fish, so it doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Anyone else have anything they want to bring up about the the fish? I, I think that's uh, too much of it, and that. It gives low value, so it kind of just floods your inventory. It's just so annoying. I hate that part of it. It's it's actively hurting you when you use it. Because by having a grilled Chilean sea bass ticking during your fight, it's stopping you from healing with actual good food. Fuck the grilled Chilean sea bass. It doesn't do anything. It's so bad. Same with steaks. Fuck steaks. At least you get four steaks. Yeah. Yeah, think, but it's like 3 390, right? It's like, oh god. They, they buff why? steak, isn't it like 420 now or something? Yeah. Like, but still, why would you run a steak when you can run Orchid, right? Is it is it actually 420? You're, ba you're basically getting like 490. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's not healing anything. Dude, imagine popping a grilled Chilean sea bass mid fight, and then your opponent has healing reduction. You're 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 not healing. You're you're ticking like a bread. If your bread was not being reduced, enjoy your 13 tick food. Like, come on. Fuck the sea bass. Fuck the sea bass. Anyway, sorry. I, I get really heated when I think about grilled chili and sea bass. <laughs> Basically, when, I'm, when I'm, I get heated, like, rocks. Anyway, so the point is, it shouldn't be so bad. It should probably be high, lower quantity, higher heal. But then the problem is, it just becomes the same thing as baked cod. And do we really want. The food to be more homogenous? No, I, I like good food and bad food, but I think grilled chili and sea bass should be one of the good foods, not one of the, the bad foods. I mean, if anything, maybe swap baked carp and grilled yeah, chili and sea bass, sea bass. Since we've already established that cod is the rarer fish. Um, also, like, this is where unique effects on food could could fix this. Because then it stops food from all just being, hey, it's food, it heals you this much, you craft this much, and that's the only difference between them. No. Yeah, if CFS gave some kind of buff for slow healing, that would at least be acceptable. Yeah. Have some kind of interesting choice in, do I want really high healing cod, or do I just want the small buff? Yeah. Um, I, I agree. I, I fully agree. And if you have, if you have heated oil, yeah, like... You could just make curry croquettes. They're just better. Like I don't know. I guess I guess curry powder is kind of hard to get. So yeah. Anyway. It's in uptown uh, factory. Yeah, it's in it's in some specific places. Uptown factory and uh dock. No, we're out. It's I believe it's uptown factory. Is it just uptown factory? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, actually, something something I kind of wanted to to ask is like, what about? What about making food have a different heal duration? Is that is that is that too confusing? Like, say say for example, you had a food that healed a thousand two hundred, but it healed it slower than other food. I'm I like the idea of making like 
different uh, heal timers just because you can use them in different situations. For like a big number like that over a long period of time, I'd probably just pop it while I'm like trying to clear out all the animals in an area. Just yeah. Because actually healing over time, you know. But in a fight, I'd want to use something shorter so I can uh, heal faster, of course. Yeah, I feel like durations could be another way they could add. If they don't want to do unique effects on food, durations could be a way they could actually make the food a little bit more varied. It, it's possible. It could work. It kind of already is like that now, though. Like, steak is... You get four, right? So it's kind of like 1,600 over a minute. Hmm. Yeah, you know, when you, when, you, when you put it that way, you're kind of right. But also, the problem is that all stacks are still stacking to five. So four yeah. steak is almost a full stack. So it's taking up more inventory space. It's not it's not it's not quite the same, but it's it's close. I don't really like that idea. It's just like complexity for no reason. That's what I was saying. Like is know. it is that just an unnecessary complexity? It's unnecessary in my opinion. I like the unique effects idea, like you eat grilled chili and sea bass and all of a sudden you get fire damage to your attacks because you're grilling your opposition. Oh wow, but... that's spicy. That's Chilean right there. Uh, I don't like the duration change, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, what exactly is Chilean about COD plus Hugo Brax? Can't you eat multiple uh, items at once? Yes, but they so will... get this... No, they'll, they queue up their effects. I see. So if you, if you eat three grilled Chilean sea basses, you won't be eating all three at the same time. It'll it'll count down, and then the next one will start eating, and then it'll count down, and the next one will start eating. But that, that would essentially be the same effect as one food healing. Over yeah, a certain amount it would be time. similar. Yeah, the only yeah. difference is is stack size. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but if you ate three grilled chili and sea bass, you you would die before you see all three of them finish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's talk, let's talk tier lists. Let's talk, let's get to the meat and potatoes, everyone wants to see this. How, how do you guys want to do this? Want to just like all just share it together or how, how is it going to work? So, so let's, let's do, let's do character by character. How about that? All right. Let me, okay. let's, let's bring up, let's bring up the tier list. Hold on. But should we say like where we all have them? Yeah, like, let me. You'd say, hey, Jen, and we'd all say. We can, uh... You can also send you our tier list, and you can just like show it on stream one by one, maybe. Yeah, I could try doing that. Okay. I could try doing that. So hang on, let me. And we, we can we can explain reasonings too, because basically I think I think a lot of them are going to be pretty self-explanatory. One person can explain, you know, why is X in blank tier, and then I'm sure it'll be the similar for for everyone. But there's going to be a few outliers, I'm sure. So we can go over this the strange choices. Um, who wants to send me their tier list first, and who hasn't made one yet? Mm, I've already sent mine, uh, I'm not sure who hasn't finished theirs. I'm gonna send it in a second. I have mine, I'm gonna check it, yeah. I, I quickly did it while, while we were talking about some things. Uh, I can send my- oh, save. Yeah, looking at it now, there are definitely some, uh, shifts for sure <laughs> compared to the last tier list I made. Wow. Yeah, things have definitely changed. God, I'm actually, I feel like, if I just had to guess, I would predict that Ashen's tier list is going to be the most different from everyone else's. <laughs> he's going to put Fiora C tier, dude. Yeah, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to, this is going to be so fucking biased. <laughs> <laughs> he's like Jackie in her own tier, Fiora C tier. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like mine is more You're lopsided. Right. Oh, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. <laughs> did you did you just post yours? Oh my <laughs> god! So we're gonna, we're gonna go Ash at first because this is already great. <laughs> I like your bottom tier. Oh man! <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me let me bring this up. Whoa! Okay, Gino and Shoix are very similar. We have a very professional stream here. Wow. And let me let me post mine as well. God, this is gonna be pretty funny <laughs> to cover. Oh, oh yeah, are these lists for solo or squads? But that is true too, right, guys? So uh, we're we're gonna talk about that. I my personal take is I'm sort of lumping them together, 
But I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll basically same. say, I'll basically say like, yeah, same. Eh, this character's probably blank in this situation, in this queue. The hell did yeah, I put something my... you just go over when you're explaining, probably. Almost, I'm almost ready to just sit tight. Sorry, guys. That's my tier list. Okay. It's closer to mine, Ak. Wow, okay, Skaz is closer to mine. Oh, dude. Yeah, I'm just looking at yours. Ours are pretty similar. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so first up's gonna be Ashen. Let me set up the window capture. One second, guys. Sorry about this. I am a complete. No, I have to justify my decisions. Amateur. Oh, you have to justify a lot. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, you do. We definitely need yeah, to talk Ashton, about yeah, you're this. right, though. Ashton is very different for the rest of us, for sure. Does I hate Jackie count as a justification? Where the fuck? Ah, oh, that's okay. <laughs> Everybody hates Jackie. Where the fuck is it? You don't. No, I don't. Oh Disgusting my god. Jackie plays. Can't find hey, it. Man. This word. <laughs> Nope, at, that's least not I've, it. at least I put Jackie in as there. That's not it. Fine. Dude, I can't find it. Where the fuck? Oh, it's Chrome, my image. There it is. You put like everybody in as. I, I think there's a lot of diversity right now that are pretty scarce. Yeah, so did I. So, so okay, Ashton, you're up first. Let's uh, let's hear your thoughts. Um, well, you see this Jackie character, and this is for. This is for both solo and squad. This hot weapon and kills everyone. Go on. How do you feel about the Fiora Jackie matchup? I feel like Fiora actually has a very strong, uh, is like a very strong contender versus Jackie. Yeah, you just hit a hard and she hits you. You can probably win, but like, um, I have an experience with Jackie sort of um running away from my Fiora for two minutes in the end zone, which uh, leads me to think Jackie is stronger than Fiora. That is that is true. She she can man, boy do I fucking know that Jackie just runs away from Fiora. Yep. Looking at yeah, you, I mean, there's fucking Yeah, for sure. <laughs> in, in the final zone area, uh, though, that's where Fiora really shines against Jackie though. When there's not a, a looping circle. When there's not a looping yeah. circle. Yeah. I think that's just a different discussion. <laughs> that's 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 a whole nother like yeah. And end zone structure is a whole nother problem. I mean I I agree, but it does benefit Jackie right now. It makes her stronger than some characters. So my question to you... I don't know. Oh, go ahead. Um, I wasn't going to say anything irrelevant. I think Jackie can beat Fiora in fights. I agree. So, yeah. I feel like their matchup is very close to each other. Uh, I feel like right. it's it's 55-45. 50, I, I, I don't know which which side, but it's very close, I feel. So my I question feel like it's so about... close. I'm oh, sorry, and, ja and Jackie's such a stronger character in like every other way. And then she just runs around so fast. Do you feel like Jackie would still be S tier if this was a team Q only tier list? Uh, no, because she doesn't have a stun. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that she doesn't have yes, enough AoE to. It's so important in team play for sure. Yeah, CC is massive in, in team stuff for sure. Um. So this is mostly mostly just a, a solo biased Jackie S tier. Yeah, more or less for sure. What about you think Cajun is Cajun? You think she's she's a whole tier above Magnus and Hyun and Fiora right now? I uh, I think yeah. I mean, in teams, she's just so much better than everybody else. It's insane. You you like so. Hadrian would be counterable in this game if you were allowed to be apart from your teammates. But her AoEs are so big, and like, the areas in this game are so small, like everywhere you walk you have to clump together. And that means Hadrian can like always fear at least two people if you're confident at the game. And that literally wins any team fight. Yeah, I feel like, like what Hadrian does right now is what Zaheer does, but with a lot more CC. Like he, he sort of has like a, this zone control with like his tornado and his ult, yeah. uh, for sure. Like Hajin does has that, but like after his nurse, she does more damage than him and more CC too. He's just, she's just an improved 
Let's see here. I don't it's a, think a bit weaker health line. I'd say. I personally, I don't think she does more damage than Zaheer did back then. However, oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm not saying she, she does more damage than, than him back then. I'm saying she does more damage than him right now. Oh um, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But who doesn't? Shukai. She's a better uh, here right now. Yeah. Um, I think I think the thing about Agent is one of the things that bothers me about her is I feel like the Hajin players don't have to aim very hard. Her ult just fucking hits you from anywhere because it's massive, and then it has a bunch of extra balls that are fucking massive and they'll just hit you. So it's all a bunch of incidental damage. Her W, I think it's her W, her root, it's enormous. Yeah. How the hell do you miss that thing? She has access to Arrow Rain, which is an insane weapon skill. It's so yeah, good. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I, that thing is very, very good. Dude, Arrow Rain... It's funny because everyone called Arrow Rain like shit when we were all like getting started with the game. Arrow Rain is one of the best weapon skills by far, in my yeah. opinion. It's I, so I, I good. I thought it was really good when I ran into like a lot of Nadine's. Like I, I started to realize it was so good when I saw that it had like a 15 second cooldown with no cooldown reduction. Like this is nuts. I realized it was so good when I finally discovered you could unlock your camera in this game and it was a mile long. Yeah, yeah, that, that is very far. Uh, it, it does. I was dealing. Uh, okay, so I was playing Hey Jin. That 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 skill was dealing a thousand one hundred damage without skill amp. Like it was yeah. exactly nuts. That that's if, if it hits the center. But if you still, center them with amp. any build, it will do like a thousand damage. It, it's it's so huge. Yeah, Low you don't really notice it's good. No SP. You don't notice it's good until you actually hit someone in the center and you realize yeah. they're nearly dead. And it just actually yeah. just one shots. Lowers attack speed too and and movement speed. Very good. Yeah, yeah. It being a like, big attack speed slow is crazy to me. It's a good chasing tool just because, you know, the slow and the distance and uh It's the best the chasing cooldown. tool, quite yeah, frankly. Very good chasing. Also with um Hey Jin, if I can if you can stop gushing over our array, but her the fact that a box spell, W gives vision and her arrow rain gives vision as well. Yeah, she's a very safe so, uh, bush checker. Yep. When you're good at the game, she's pretty safe to play, even though she you know is made of paper. Yeah, I mean, that's a counter. She's made of paper, but in squads, it doesn't matter because your Magnus runs in. Yeah, your Magnus <laughs> kind of sucks at the damage first, or knocks them out of the way first. Um, yeah, overall, I, I, I like your tier list. I think it's a little bit pointy at the top, but it's good. I already hate Jackie. I fucking hate Jackie, too. Oh my god, can we both agree that Jackie just is the most annoying character in this game? Like, I hate Sniper Aya, yeah, but sure. fuck Jackie. Mm -hmm. She chokes quietly in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> if if, if there was a Jackie player around me, I would slap them. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Someday you'll play a real character. Alright, so who's up next? I'm who? fine with whoever. Alright, class, who, who wants to present next? Why you start calling names? Aethers. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. You, you can pull up mine. Oh yeah, let me give me a second to pull yours up. Okay. Hey Jim, as a uh, elemental bow is really easy to build. Okay. That's nice enough. That. So that's okay. Well, sorry. Before we got too far away from Hayden, her, her, man, her being an avenue that quickly with a fucking elemental bow is so frustrating to me. It is not hard to build that thing. And she yeah, just like she's a, basically heart all over again, dominating yeah, Avenue. The new heart in Avenue or Pond again. Yeah. The new Avenue boss. It's awful. But yeah. Anyway, uh, you're up. So, uh, comparing mine to Ashen's tier list is actually, if you condense the, his tiers from S, A, and B together, it actually be pretty similar. Uh, I I put the characters a lot closer together, uh, just because I don't think there's too huge of a discrepancy. I mean, yeah, Jackie does have a very mobile kit that's good uh, throughout most of the game too, for sure. Uh, I kind of the reason why I put Fiora and Jackie so close is uh, mainly because final zone. I don't. I know that it's weird to strictly judge a character based on their final zone performance, but I feel like in in all these tourneys, like Fiora is just very threatening in the final circle for sure. Oh yeah, um, and definitely a strong contender against Jackie when uh, her mobility isn't as uh, you know, use utilize much because t time spent, you know, queuing or eing onto someone is uh time spent you could be auto attacking. 
Yeah, exactly. And uh, I'd say Hyun, Hyun has uh, been pretty consistent so far. He's been good, still is good. He didn't really got changed much. His glove route uh, got a bit better just because of the glove buff, but Tanfa is, uh, is still good all around. I've also been seeing a lot more Dylins too. Uh, Dylin buffs are actually really good, I'd say. I I haven't seen too much of her, but I feel like she has like a lot of potential to be uh, a lot better, for sure. Can I ask why you think Dylin's uh, not S tier in this list? Why she's not S tier? On your list, I mean. I don't think she's. Why she's not S tier is because. I think she's as good uh, as the rest of the characters on your S tier list. Because she needs conditions and uh, proper combos for her to work out. And uh, compared to her, Jackie, uh, Fiora, Hyun, Magnus, they don't really need conditions, you know. I mean, Fiora, I guess she needs like the touche proc, but it's not too hard late game when you only need three and you can uh, use your W to apply two instant auto attacks. Uh, you also really won't be using your skills to apply the, or to like, you know, proc it much either because, you know, you could be auto attacking instead. So, uh, right. but Dylan, on the other hand, like she needs uh, her W, uh, to to benefit her with her Qs and her, pa her passive for extra auto attacks and so forth, so I'd say she 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 spends a lot of time spell casting, uh, which lowers her you know potential DPS from people who are just strictly slapping you constantly. See a point, but I think Dylan kind of annihilates every other character in the A tier. Like... Yeah, I put her like really high, like, this is like loosely ordered. So like yeah, she's okay. definitely it's at the solid. top of. She, she, I think she's at the top of A tier for sure. I, I don't think I'd push her up to S just yet, because I, I think that those other characters are better than her for sure. Uh, yeah, you, you can move her up to S. Uh, she, she, she's around border, borderline SA for sure. Yeah. Make, makes sense. And uh, the reason why I put ISIL on the bottom is uh, <laughs> ISIL just keeps on getting murdered, and everyone can build traps. There's not much uniqueness to him anymore. Uh, and Trap Dagger Jackie is just better ISIL all around. So you don't really need to do, uh, you don't need to play ISIL. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Crab Dagger Jackie is essentially ISIL, but better. Um, yeah, I, overall, pretty solid tier list. I, I don't fully, I mean, I, I'm not just here to disagree with you, but I don't fully agree with like, for example, putting Yuki and Dylan in the same tier. Um, Yuki and Dylan? Okay. Like, do you think Yuki uh, and Dylan are the same strength right now? I think Yuki's way, way worse than Dylan right now. I fully agree. It's weird, like, just no one plays Yuki anymore. He, he got, he like got he... a love tap, and he's he's just off the map entirely. It was mainly just his E, uh, what was it, his E cooldown? Or yeah, E cooldown. It? And I think Q cooldown too. Yeah, Q cooldown and E cooldown and E damage. I, I haven't seen enough of Yuki lately to really say much. I, I so yeah, Cal, Cal pretty much nailed it. Why play Yuki when you can play Fiora? The only difference is that Yuki has a lot more AOE in his ult. His ult's insane. It's still insane. The about his ult is that it's kind of rough in a dueling situation when you don't have to jump on someone because you're kind of you're stuck in that animation and people can just dash behind you and auto attack you while you're still stuck in that animation. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But in general, his damage is sort of just a worse Yoru. For sure. Especially since they both basically build the exact same items. Uh, best weapon for Jackie is currently Axe. I think everyone would agree Harp is the best Jackie weapon, yeah? I agree. Very cool weapon. Show so, yeah. you, you have a sort of an argument for, for Dagger, don't you? Um... When I get into my specific tier list, I'm probably going to talk the most then, but I feel like a dagger is currently on Mount Slayer. Harwenon has nerfed significantly where it's mostly going to be an inferior version of an auto attack axe. Man, I heard most of that. I, I'm very much looking forward to you talking about your tier list, <laughs> if we will be able to hear any of it. I'll try my best. <laughs> Basically, Carbonin's been there way too many times. It's just worse than trying to go for auto attack X. Yeah. Mount Slicer has a significantly different playstyle that is probably just going to fit more into how Dagger was meant to be played rather than just, ook, ook, I'm going to hit you with a shit ton of attack speed. Yeah, yeah. So, speaking of which, uh, do you want to try and do your tier list next? Uh, yeah, sure. Funny enough, I think 
my tier list and Gino's tier list are extremely similar. Yep. We're probably gonna have them going right after. But let me, let me look at them. Let's yeah, you. These are pretty similar. Let me let me pop it open. Our placement of Yuki is kind of similar to each other. I think among all of us, I think. Yuki I think I think everyone put Yuki around middle of the pack. Yeah, basically. Middle, yeah. Okay, just tell me when you have mine up, and then I can start. Going. It's up. Go for it. Oh, it's up? Alright, okay. Yep. So, let's see. I think the weirdest one for me to- the weirdest character for me to place was definitely Heart. Because she doesn't quite belong I, with yeah. the other three characters in A tier, but she's also significantly probably going to beat the characters that I put in B. Honestly, if I just opened up and put B+, plus, I probably would have put her there instead. Yeah, I, I, I agree like with that. she's significantly better than Yuki, but then she's just way worse than the melees right now. It's kind of a it's kind of a weird place to be in because like, I don't think Heart is bad now. I think she's I, I haven't played her enough since the nerf, sorry these several nerfs, to really say whether or not she's just not good anymore. But in like in theory she shouldn't be terrible, but she did get hit like everywhere. Her damage on her weapons got nerfed. Um, her her slow got cut in half. That slow is really important for her. Um, what else? Her, her e, e cooldown got nerfed. But yeah, go, go on. It's it, Continue. Yeah, I think another big reason why Heart probably isn't as good anymore is pretty much the rise of Dylin. With all of her buffs, Dylin can pretty much match every E with a Q, so she ends up sticking to Heart reasonably exactly. so compared to a lot of other characters. Uh, I'm pretty sure Shoix was there on that one stream when I was facing that one Dylin in Chapel being chased like forever. Like, that was so rough. It's like, when Heart E's, you Q, and Q has half the cooldown of Heart's E, so pretty much, she's going to catch on to you, she's going to start silencing you, and you're going to take a lot of damage. Yep, because and if you're going auto-attack. the state of the game right now, she's early game. And that's probably also why Yuki ends up middle of the pack. He's losing a lot of melee matchups. I think the biggest one is Magnus. If you stun Magnus while he's spinning, he's just going to keep on spinning anyway. Yeah, he just he kills you. He honestly can't do anything about this. Absolutely nothing he can do. Yeah, I, I don't see why Yuki should pretty much ever lose to Magnus. Not in his current state. Yeah, it's not happening. Uh, you talk about... Of course the fucking Jackie main puts Jackie in A tier, not in S tier. Okay. We get it. Okay, okay. You play <laughs> Jackie. You want to explain yourself? Oh yeah. Okay, so the big thing with Jackie, her big problem, she has absolutely no HP. She is really, really squishy. While she can get away, the second she actually gets touched by that Hyunwoo E, or she gets rooted by Hyojin, then they can just kind of go in and probably nearly kill her immediately. At that point, she's kind of just desperately running for her life. Dagger is going to escape these situations, but Axe? It's a lot easier for Axe to get caught up. How do you feel about the, uh, Jackie HP growth buffs. Uh, I believe she got the highest HP growth buff uh, among all the other melee characters. Does she really? Yeah, she, she got she got a yeah, an additional she got, health per level. She got an additional oh. ten, which is yeah, actually one else gets only five. Interesting. I actually had no idea. So she effectively gets uh, one one eighty more health. Yeah, one eighty more health. Yeah, it was her biggest problem because a mid to late game Jackie was probably running on one point six to one point seven k HP. And when people were running the Heart Crit build with Crystal Tiara, she just ended up dying to pretty much Hyun E into ult. It was guaranteed, couldn't do anything about it. Other than just basically not being near him. Which is kind of how you escape Fiora as well. This is something I've said a lot of times, which is Jackie's kit is clearly meant to bully ranged characters, and against melees, she ends up having a lot harder time than people would realize. But man, it feels like a lot of the time when I'm playing against Jackie as a melee, all she has to do is turn on her fucking chainsaw and right click on me. And I almost always lose that fight. Like, I feel like she just gains so much free, like, the free heal from the W, because she's guaranteed to cause the bleed, the free bleed damage, the free attack speed. I feel like it's never a fair fight when she has her ult up. And it, almost to the point where it's like, what? Yeah, the counterplay is I run away from you, but you're Jackie. You're the fastest fucking character in the game. How do I time your ult out if I can't get away from you? It feels so unpleasant to play against her. 
honestly, I can see that she is incredibly annoying to play against. If I have to look at annoying characters, it's probably Hyojin and Jackie. And Jackie might... The only reason I'm not saying Jackie is first is because I named the character. Yeah. Be <laughs> it, just, it just feels like... Like, they buffed her healing, and I don't... I never understood why they buffed that healing. It didn't need to happen. It just feels like she gets so much, like all-in potential on top of the fact that you can't disengage and you can't catch her if she decides she doesn't want to fight she chooses every fight that she gets like mostly unless you know proverbially yeah that's definitively her main strength is that when she wants to fight you're not getting away from it most of the time but in the game right now there are characters that pretty much just stand her ground like when you're playing Fiora, Fiora definitely just wants to take that fight. Oh yeah, Fiora doesn't give Jackie. a fuck. Jackie That's runs. Absolutely true. It's like Fiora's gonna stand there. Dai Lin at this moment can honestly just stand there and take Jackie. She probably kills Jackie in a lot of fights right now. At most stages of the game, I would think. Dai Lin kinda murders everyone, I think, in a 1v1. I think Fiora beats Dai Lin 1v1. I think it's very close. It is close. Like, I was playing, I mean, this is just anecdote, but like, I was playing in customs earlier today, and what's his name? The Dylan guy. Howard. Howard, Howard yeah, yeah. Kitagi. I it was, it was Howard. I ran into Howard, I think he was six items. I was six items, Crit Fiora. Um, we had a, a, a very high APM right click battle, and he didn't even come close to beating me. No traps, healing didn't matter. It, Fiora just straight out DPS Dylan. I think so as well. It is definitely slanted towards Fiora. The one thing Dylan can do is attempt to dodge Fiora's W with her W. He did. But then if Fiora it didn't matter. W, then that's yeah. kind of hopeless. He, he dodged at least one, and it just, man, it was not close. And it was, it was like, it was like not, like I didn't catch him. It was not like anything weird. It was just straight up two boulders hit each other, and one broke the other. I think by design, Fiora is just meant to beat the other melees. That definitely just seems to be her niche. If you're just going to stand there and hit her, she's going to hit you way harder than anything you can put out. Yeah. I think I think it's, it's still fairly even, but I think Fiora just, just wins the duel. I, like, six times out of, out of ten. I think the main differ differentiation I put between S and A is that everyone I put in S tier has some kind of repetitive hard CC that actually stops you from moving. Dai Lin does have CC, but on her ult that's an execute, you're not really using it to engage the chase. It's more so you're already there and you're hoping to kill them immediately after the ult. I just noticed that on this tier list it kind of looks like Magnus and Hyun are holding hands. So, it's kind of oh, cute. Uh... That and Gino actually is kind of cute, dude. <laughs> dude that, yo, it's kind of cute. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so so yeah, I, I mostly agree with this tier list. I, I besides the Jackie and Fiora placement, pretty much. Uh, I had a question: dagger versus axe. I know you sort of already brought it up, but uh, if you could place dagger Jackie and axe Jackie s separately in their own tiers, where would you put them? Okay, so Axe is definitely a lot more explored and pretty much more defined, I think. I think that in the current meta, where you're mostly trying to deal with skill amp, there is definitely a place for Dagger to be a lot more viable. I think Dagger Jackie is probably actually slightly better, but until I start proving that, I can't really say it for sure. Because you've got some spice, right? Yeah, I'll probably be showing got it a off. Hidden build. He's got a hidden trap dagger build. Actually. Uh, quick, quick, quick detour. Quick, quick side question. Volcano asks, how much would Zaheer improve if shurikens didn't have ammo? Yo, anyone, suck. anyone have an yeah. opinion on this? I thought it was oh, wait, who? Sorry? If Zaheer's shurikens did not have ammo... I assume this also applies to his his thrown weapons as well. Yeah. Zaheer no longer has an ammo system. Does that change Zaheer's placements? See, I don't have ammo issues, so. Neither do I. I, I, play, I played a ton of Zaheer. 
I feel like his, his ammo is generally fine. Um, the only difference that making him have unlimited ammo would make him a bit faster in getting his build, because uh, some you spend a bit of time uh, trying to get extra ammo, you know, so you don't run out. But uh, it, it's only going to slightly improve his speed, but it's not going to affect his damage output in any way. So it, it will it won't affect him late game for sure. Would, would uh, pedal torrent actually be worth taking? Oh, oh yeah, no, okay, yeah, okay, I didn't think of that. Uh, would, would that make yeah, pedal torrent sure. here pedal actually torrent worth using? Be a lot play. Yeah, it still suck. You think so? Building pedal torrent is like the hardest thing in the game. It's it's almost like JP laptop tier. And yet you get less you don't win the game instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's old pedal torrent. That that might be pretty good. JP is actually confirmed for the game. Oh guys... yeah. No, JP is yeah. confirmed. If they have found voice lines referencing JP, it was Shukai has one. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm actually excited for JP. Uh, I, I like uh, hacker themed characters. Oh, I fucking can't wait. JP is going to be so. Mm. Isn't he like the Exodia of this game? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. He, he basically, I, I, don't, I haven't played original BS, but from what I've been told, he has to do this incredibly long and complicated craft to build a, like a laptop or something. And then go into the the center area. What's it called? What's the center area called? Isn't it the research lab? Research thing? center. Research center. He has to go into the research center and then like hack into something and then it wins the game instantly. He can't attack, he doesn't have weapons. And he's like squishy or something. I don't know if he can put traps down. Can, are there traps in original Black Survival? Okay, I don't think anyone here's played original Dude, Black Survival. I, I tried it once. It, it was uh, so no, weird. Has, has played it, but he's AFK right now. Yeah, or potentially losing internet. I don't know if there's traps in the original game. I assume there are. I don't know if he can use them, because if, if, if JP can use traps, then that would actually give him a way of fighting, so I don't know if he can do that or not. But anyway, the, the point is, he's a, sort of a pacifist character who just, like, loots shit, and then eventually has, like, yeah, an Exodia way of winning the game. So, I, I can't wait. That sounds awesome. Like, I, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, Hida confirming that he can use traps in the original game. He can attack, but most but players don't waste time making weapon. Oh, he can attack? I thought he just couldn't attack at all. Oh, that's weird. Anyway, not the point. Uh, next tier list, Gino. Yo. Let me bring yours up real quick and you can defend yourself. An assault, or <laughs> just My, mine is pretty much Showix's. Yeah, yeah, like, like you guys can just flick back and forth and you'll see like the similarity. I know, I, I have some objections to this. Okay, so I value CC pretty much, that's why Magnus, so my Hyun, and player. Heijin are at the top. Plus, I play two out of those three, and I just I think they're broken. You think they're broken, uh, broken? Like more? No, more broken okay. Than, like, compare, okay, real quick. Compared to previous patch top tiers. No, no, no. Not, are they well, in need Hyun. of a nerf? In that same way. Wait, say that again? How would they. So, so compared to last patch's top tiers, should they be nerfed as hard as Hyun those characters should. were? Hyun should. For sure. Magnus, I don't know, maybe take some of his skill lamp. Don't make skill lamp as strong. I don't know, but God, I really hope they don't Hyun do that. Needs... Why? Because like, dude, Magnus was literally like twelfth in in first places. That's because people Magnus was always the shut strong, the fuck though. up. We're trying to save him. You <laughs> god damn fuck. <laughs> like, <sighs> didn't you get I always, DM? I always rated. Spell Ant Magnus high. It's just no one played it. No, you and you and I are the only ones who ever gave a shit about Spell Ant Magnus, and yes, he was always good. Yeah. Uh, hey Jen, bunch of CC. She's a beast. Uh, what do you guys have objections with? Namely, Nadine is definitely better than I Heart and Yuki. You think? I, I'm only like no one's running Nadine as much. And the ones I've run into uh, just aren't 
good. I mean, so, ballista crit that he is just it's basically so just like ballista crit, yeah. You think it's, they're clearly better than my B tier? You think she's clearly better I, than my current B tier? I mean, she's, she's B tier. I would put her okay. in B tier, yeah. Okay. She's definitely That's not fair. worse than those. And especially in squad, crossbow stun is just very solid skill. It's really See, good. I, I literally don't run into crossbows. I know you've been playing it, though. I mean, it's fun. Yeah. Build, build a ballista pass, go and kill everyone. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good, in my opinion. And then heart, I think, is lower than where you, some of you guys have her. I just have no problem killing her anymore with people above her. It's yeah. here I have her in. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think all six of those characters... Maybe Hey Jin might have a, a a real fight with her. I don't know. Hey Jin can die to like anyone. I see. But I wonder how that one v one would go. Spelling. I think that's definitely just whoever sees who first. I see. Do you really feel that Jackie and Fiora are below your S tiers? You don't think that they could be on the same level as them? They could. Yeah. Yeah. They could be up there. Again, I just think CC is... You think that's just... So So this is mostly... You're, you're thinking maybe this is more of a squad... Yeah. Focused perspective. I do play squad more often. That's true. Yeah, same. And, and I think they're, they're good in both. They're better overall than the, the characters below them, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I do kind of agree with that, yeah. That's pretty much what I was thinking when I put Fiora and Jackie in A tier as well. They just provide a little less value in squad compared to the three characters above, even yeah. though they're all good in solo. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> oh, sorry, I just yawned. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't find anything about this tier list offensive. Aside from... Outside of Nadine. No, I'm not even Nadine. I, yeah. I, I think I'd probably, like... I don't think it's so clear that she should be in B. I just think that there is A build that, on A weapon that is B tier. That's how I feel about Fiora. Like her spear build puts her probably in S. But if that gets touched, she's gets she's touched gone. at all. She's back down to C tier. She's gone. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a weird balance because like this this is my this actually might be a really hot take. I think if you even slightly nerf Yun. He drops to B tier. Really? I really do. I think Hyun is is very strong, but I think if you if you if you touched him at all, he would he would be it's it's just just strong enough to be too good, but anything weaker would be just terrible. Because I yeah. feel like he has to he has to have tankiness and damage to be a threat. If you remove either side of that, he has nothing. If he's tanky and he does no damage, then, then who gives a fuck? And if he has damage but he has no tankiness, then who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? Yeah, then you just play Magnus strictly yeah. over him. Yeah. Or, or, or play a character that's actually doing damage, or a character that's actually tanky. Yeah. Like Magnus. I feel like, I feel like he's just... He's, he's just hanging in there, but he's still just hanging in there in S tier. You know what I mean? Like... I don't yeah. know. It's hard. It's hard to balance him. He's definitely just very one-dimensional. Yeah. It's very linear gameplay. It's like, if the E is any worse than it is right now, then it feels like he's almost nothing. Yep. His Q is kind of a button. His W is kind of a button. Man, I can tell who's it's the FGC just, uh, player. They're not too impactful. I feel like if they lowered the percent HP on him like a little bit for the E, I still think he'd be pretty good but and not broken. Kyun like, loses 5% on his E. Is he trashed here? I, I think he's still fine if it does 20% instead of 25. I, I agree with you. Oh yeah, 20% is totally fine. I, I've been saying the perfect nerf to Hyun is a 5% reduction. Or losing 5%, not a 5% reduction. I don't necessarily think that he needs lower AP ratios. I think just it's, it's just the free damage that's egregious and it's really high right now. I think he needs to lose 5%. The tank build should not be able to hit that hard with an E. If, yeah. if someone's going full, and uh, what was it? Attack power reduction, attack damage reduction, and they're just doing all of that. 
and they're just stacking a bunch of skill damage reduction as well. This E should not be hitting me for a quarter of my health. While yeah, to do that. that's that's the I offensive part. Oh, I, I misread what Cal was saying. He was saying maybe balance it out by lowering his free damage and increasing his scaling, so you're more basically you're more rewarded for building AP, and you don't actually get as much just damage for not building AP, which I'm personally I'm fine with that. I think that's a way you could do it too. A buff and a nerf. Um, his R just kind of fucking sucks, but it's also good in some situations. I don't know. It's strange. It kind of feels like his his ult is his E. So he just gets to spam his ult. It's the most impactful part of his kit, and it's on his E. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's only ever a part two of his E, and pretty much nothing else. Yeah. 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 Um, changing AP ratios is something I want to talk about with regards to Sigukai, but do you want to like give a tier list first? I'm, I, I, yeah, okay. I can I can just quickly blow through mine because I think we've sort of hit most of the the opinions. I think we all sort of agree. If yeah, if if probably. these were color gradients, you would sort of see a similar color gradient across the board. Let me pull up mine. So here, here's my tier list. Uh, so, so me personally, I, 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 I'm of the opinion that the S tiers are the S tiers. I think, I think in solo, Hajin drops down to A. I think in teams, no, nah, actually, I think everyone in S tier in every queue is an is an S tier except for Hajin dropping to A for solo. Um. I think the power gap between the S and A tiers, and then everyone below them, is enormous. It's not quite shown in a S A B C tier list. I think I think the gap between Dylan and uh, Nadine Hart Yuki is is massive. I think you have six valuable characters at the top and seven not viable characters below them. I feel like if you're trying to gain LP, you should only be playing characters in the top. Six. Does anyone disagree with that? You're all sleeping on Crossbow and Adin. So Crossbow and Adin <laughs> is like that, that. That it's only in V tier because it needs more data. I just don't think we've seen. I need to of see it. it more. I've been yeah. killed by it a couple times, but that was like in customs, so it kind of doesn't really count. I would need to see it on the ladder in actual real so, games. So basically, Asian just needs to do something with it, and then we can call it. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's that's nice. Nice. Popularize it. Kick my shit in before I respect it. <laughs> but in, in general, I completely agree with you. I think the balance is kind of bad right now. The funny thing is, is that I think the balance is much better than it was before. You have six viable characters, and none of them feel like so oppressive. None of them are sniper Aya. None of them feel so unbelievably unfun to play against, except maybe Agent. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're playing one of the top seven, I yeah. think it's fine. I think if I was playing nothing but Shukai right now, I would want to uninstall. If I was playing nothing but Aya, Pistol, or AR, I would not want to Aya play the so game. Aya is so miserable. Aya is so not good right now. It's funny, too, because I, I was trying to say, there was like a period of time in the last patch where I was like, dude, Aya, Pistol, Aya just fucking sucks now. And everyone... I said that too. Was like, nah, dude. We've even got numbers. She's doing fine. Like, you look at the the weapon stats, and yeah, she's got a few, pretty, some pretty decent win rates. But I don't, she, have you tried playing her? She sucks. So, she's I, not good, but I think he's she's better than Isol. Like, you have him on the same tier. Well, I have him, I have him on the same tier because we're just comparing best weapon, and I think I Sniper Eye is. I think Isol and Sniper Eye are on the same. Yeah. In my I don't opinion. Think it, Helps, but like deleted the best devil's marksman route from the game with the animal change. I, I, man, the animal that change sucks. I didn't even think of that. It's the, the problem with, with pistol Aya is that you have to basically, you basically have to go spell amp, and the route for it are already sucked. Because if you want to build your, your weapon early, which you have to do, you get no gold. And yeah. you're probably going to just 
spend the rest of the game looking desperately for gems and picks. And she already got like a bunch of nerfs. Uh, Devil's Marksman's been nerfed once or twice. She has a 5% decrease damage in squad. Like, man. I, oof, I do not want to play Sniper or play Pistol Eye right now. Which is a shame because I've played a ton and I really enjoy playing Pistol Eye. I think it's one of the funnest things in the game, really. I could not agree more. I yeah. wish I wish her ult had more interaction. I wish displacements or other things would interrupt it. But other than that, I think Pistol Eye is one of the most like fair characters in the game. But she sucks, so whatever. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, Ashley, you had something you wanted to talk about Shukai? Okay, so it's more like weapons in general. And the uh, Fan Kian, what you know? It's like... So, for spears, are... Is the skill amp spear meant to be viable on Fiora? Or is it purely <laughs> a Euro pet weapon now? I, you, how, how does it work? It'd be a good topic. I'm sure Ashley wanted to talk about it. <laughs> But it's like, uh, when Tiara comes out, and if she uses a knife, and I'm assuming she's going to be like a spellcaster type character, is she just going to be the mount slicer character, and now you can no longer use that weapon on Jackie? So that's a good question. Are we are we going to continue to see this trend of new character comes out, it's obvious which weapon the devs intend her or him to use, so we're going to nerf it right as it comes into play? Is that going to keep happening? Because that's, I mean, that happened with Heijin, and it's happened with Shukai. Yeah. We saw Elemental Bow get its spell amp cut in half. Thank God. That would have been miserable. God, imagine that full. Oh my God. Dude, imagine. Really imagine the 70, it was like 70 to 75 spell amp on the bow. But yeah, like, so so Elemental Bow got gutted right as Hagen came out, which affected spell amp Nadine. Basically killed it. Not that it was really a thing to begin with, but it existed. Um, it's like less noticeable with Nadine, I think. And then with, with Shukai coming out, they... The they, they slightly touched uh, Fangshin. What was it called? Fang Haji? Skill on Spear, yeah. What, what is it called? Fang Tian Haji. I don't know the pronunciation. Like Fangshin Haji. Something like that. I'm sorry for internet actually speaks. I assume it's Chinese. I don't, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's Chinese. No oh, idea how to pronounce that. Sorry, guys. But yeah, like. Is, is this something you guys don't like to see? I hate it so, so much. But is it for the good of the game? Like, we, I mean, we saw with Heijin, no. it, it was the right call. Remember what they said when Yuki came out? Like, imagine if he didn't have a two-hand sword. And that still had... bothers me. Yeah. Like, hey, like, this character's balanced around the fact that he uses garbage weapons. Like, that, yeah. that still bothers me to say. Because then, cause then basically what that means is like, well, I guess anyone who has a two-hand sword can never fucking use them because they're always going to be garbage. If you buff them, then you break Yuki. Yeah. Like, why not just balance the weapons first and then release the character? I just want more viable builds, right? I want Fiora yeah. and Jackie to be able to use two handed swords. I want yeah. Fiora to be able to use the skill on spear. I want Zyukai to be able to use attack power spears. I want Nadine to be, I mean, yeah, Nadine can use skill on bows. That's going to be kind of harder to do, but. And I don't think these changes are impossible or even hard to make the game like this. Like, you could just bump Zyukai's AP ratios. You can make it so Fiora's ult has, like, two times skill amp scaling on it. You can make Nadine Q have more skill amp scaling and stuff like that. Well, I guess what, what this kind of just comes down to is my... I, I've talked about this before with you guys. My, one of my big personal beefs with this game, which is at the same time still a selling point for the game, is I actually hate the fact that characters share weapons. I feel like it's a, going to be a limiting factor over time because it's going to be impossible to balance weapons for multiple people. Like, consider the game when there's 40 characters. And if they are like, hey, guess what? Yuki with Hovud's too good. We need to nerf Hovud. And suddenly that's affecting Alex, Cicela, Jackie, uh, Fior, like every fucking person who has access to that weapon is suddenly getting affected by that. It also homogenizes characters in a way because they just go, well, I want to play an attack based spear user. Well, I'm, I, I, I guess I'm just going to play fucking Fiora because if you took, if you look at anyone else's kit, they don't have an auto attack functioning kit, so I can only play Fiora with it. That's my, 
I, if they continue the way they are right now, I completely agree with you. In that they, they're not trying to balance characters around weapons, being able to use the same weapons right now. They just nerf the skill amp spear. And they don't yeah. care that Fiora can use it, can't use it anymore. They're going, I feel like they're going for like the immediate uh, problem at hand rather than overall. Yeah. Yeah. Like, because if you, like, they've, in this situation, they nerfed the spear so you can't play Spell Amp Fiora anymore. They've basically just said, hey, this spear is no longer for Fiora. But without actually saying that. Yeah. Like, at, at what point should they just get rid of the idea of shared weapons and give everyone a set of weapons tailored to their kit so they can actually balance the fucking game properly? Yeah. Am I crazy I like, in uh... saying that? Do you mean how, like, do you want, like, specific characters to use, like, one, like, weapon among, like, you know, that class? Like, Jackie uses one specific dagger while uh, Chiara uses one other specific dagger? Then you just balance it on that, you mean? To, to an extent, yes. I also think weapon skills shouldn't be shared in, uh, from character to character. I think it's I think it would be okay for, say, say Jackie has a set of daggers and Chiara has a set of daggers, so you still have things to, to pick from. Or character like you have a spell amp dagger you have a, a attack speed dagger but the, the the stats are different so that you can actually balance it specifically for those characters and they don't have shared weapon skills so you, like because like imagine okay let's talk real quick everyone who was around for isol being broken spoiler isol was broken when he came out his everything about him was too powerful there were talks of what if we gave isol a pistol because it was going to happen eventually, right? Like, people were talking about Isol getting a pistol. Imagine Isol having the fucking pistol skill in the height of his strength. It would not be fair. <laughs> yeah. I think I would have stopped. Yeah. We, all would, we all would have just quit the game. Yeah. Like, it, it no, would have been miserable. Down like an ult too. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah. Holy cow. Wait, that's, that's actually... So that's what I'm saying. Is like, do we, do we need shared weapon skills? I feel like they're never going to be balanced as long as you have shared weapon skills. Yeah, but at the same time, I feel like there should be, um... So then, they also have to make, like, unique weapon skills for every character, too. I mean, it's a lot more work on their end, but, like, it would definitely help balancing in the future, for sure. I feel like the headache from balancing all this stuff being shared is going to be more work than just giving them their own weapon skill to begin with. That is true. I mean, I disagree with you, because I really think sharing weapons is cool. And I think if you just adjust, adjust AP ratios and add skill amp ratios in then you can essentially make each character have their own weapons because if they have like two skill amp ratio and two ap ratio and all their skills then that's like the weapon is twice as powerful for them than it is for the other character i just idea works too I think that's what yeah. the only issue there is weapon skills but then just don't make stupid weapon skills like there's no one you can give the spear weapon skill to that's gonna make them you know completely obnoxious yeah some really? some are less egregious weapons skills than others like the only no, really degenerate one is like pistol dagger we also dagger. can't just give dagger, dagger skill to everybody yeah that skill is absurd and we've oh. already seen bow skill you just gave it to fucking hazen and look at her it's like a nuclear bomb yeah oh, you, you launch a tactical power. nuke across half the map i mean i think it just requires a little bit of balancing work and you know that's the price you have to pay. I, that's what I'm saying, though, is that, like, when you start balancing a character because they have access to something by, by nerfing that thing, you're going to start having all this collateral hitting other characters. If you nerf bows because Hajin's too good, suddenly you're fucking over Nadine. It's a, don't nerf bows, nerf Hajin. It's hard. I'm not sure it is. When you nerf a bow, there's been a lot of balancing doing... based on weapons. Like almost every balance patch has I had don't... serious yeah. weapon changes. And I think they need to stop doing that. Just when you're nerfing a weapon, right? What are you actually doing? You're making it more in line with the other weapons in its category. You could just nerf the damage of the character's skills, and you're gonna have the same overall damage effect. You know, if your weapon's doing less damage, it's the same as your skill doing less damage. I yeah. feel like. Uh... As a character pool grows larger, balancing weapons is going to have a lot more collateral damage than balancing a specific character. That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. So if you just, yeah, like Ashton said, if you just change the ratios on characters' abilities or like lower their bases and stuff, it would be a lot better than uh, changing weapons as a whole as a character pool grows larger. Because you don't want to like change. Uh, 
the hell I'm, weapon. To, the only way to change weapons is to bring them in line with other weapons in the character category. Like, Dragon Guando versus, like, Lance of Poseidon right now, for example. Or 18-foot spear, like... Well, I mean, that's a whole other discussion. I have a problem with spear designs all being basically the same thing with very slightly different stats. Yeah, I mean, spears aren't the most interesting weapons, not gonna lie. Do you want, like, like a Dragon... bunch... Do you want a bunch of power with minus one movement speed, or do you want a bunch of power with minus two movement speed? Ooh. Yeah. yeah. But, like, Dragon Guando though, clearly worse than Lance spear that's fire. just attack fire and nothing Probably. else? Uh, that's Cosmic Fire, and... That's the one with the moonstone. Yeah. Oh yeah, this yeah. is just a 180 attack power. No, yeah, exactly. it's pretty good. That's... But it's hard. It's hard to like no one builds it because like I can't mean, guarantee you're gonna get a moonstone. I mean that's another you can issue. Hold a bamboo spear. And yeah. Just pick one up later. Yeah, but my point is, this just has to be the issue with pretty much spear designs right now that they decided that we're gonna make the good spear just a spear of 180 attack power and nothing else. Because that just functions on pure arena. That's the same as the crossbow, the legendary crossbow. It's just 122 attack power, or the legendary dagger is just a lot of attack power. Legendary weapons in general are just. Or the monkey king bar, for example. Monkey bar, yeah. yeah. Kelt, just, the pistol, is yeah. just a bunch of attack power. But yeah, I don't know. This is, this is a, a, a very, very complex question with a very, very complex answer, and we, none of us will have the answer. I, I just think. I am concerned for the health of the game in the long term with everything, with so many things being shared between characters, making it hard to balance characters and making it hard for characters to find their own unique place in the game. I think if you have too many, I think if the weapons are all sh are, are a lot shared between characters, you're going to start saying, how can I just, you know, like I got two spear users. Who's gonna use spears better? I'm just gonna use them. It 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 takes a lot of the uniqueness of characters out because there's too much shared between them. That's that's just my own personal opinion, and it's all speculation because this hasn't really come into play yet. But it's gonna happen once we have more people. So the big concern is just there's going to be one objectively right character to play with this specific weapon, Basically, and then the rest of them just kind of fall off. Yes, I do worry about that. Like. As soon as they release another character that has the same playstyle and same weapon. So, okay, so I think this is mainly the issue for for, for characters or playstyles that are based mostly around their weapon and around their weapon skill. The character that first made me aware of this issue was AR Aya. AR Aya, as we all know, is just based around having a strong weapon and auto attacking a bunch until you can use your weapon skill to overheat and attack even more, right? They added another character with with AR. They added ISIL. And I basically thought to myself, why would I ever pick AR Aya over AR ISIL or vice versa? Like, I'm, I'm now just comparing them based on like, well, this person can auto attack and get away faster because their kits don't really care about auto attacking to begin with. You get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. I feel like it, it makes me start to boil characters down into just like, well, this guy has a better escape kit, so I'll guess I'll, I'll, guess I'll run AR on them. It, it, it doesn't matter because AR fucking sucks anyways, but you get what I'm saying. But I, can, I think you can fix this with like AP ratios. If the ISIL just has much better AP scaling on his skills than I does, then there's like uh, there's a balance to be struck there. Sure, one's going to be better, but if you can get them with like 5% of each other, you know, and you can win on either then that's fine as far as I'm concerned. Like, there's always going to be a best, but as long as it's not an absurd amount better, you know? Yeah. I think you can get them reasonably close. Yeah, yeah I think that's true. So, yeah. I, don't know. I just think deleting all this sharing weapons and stuff removes so much flavor and stuff like that. I definitely think it's cool. Don't get me wrong, I'm just concerned. This could also be where... Oh, sorry, you can go ahead. I was thinking that this could also be where unique weapon effects could come into play. Where it's like, oh, this character is probably going to be very specifically good with this effect. So even though, even though one character is better at using this weapon, this character is better at using this skill. I'm just thinking in very abstract terms, because honestly I have no idea what this is going to look like. I don't know anything about design. 
Yeah. I think it's mostly an issue where the weapon and the weapon skill is the focus of that playstyle. Then suddenly, when the weapon is shared and the weapon skill is shared, and that's the focus of the playstyle, it starts to you start to lose what makes the character unique. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, and on the idea of like weapon balancing, uh, I kind what if like when Cicela comes out, what if they nerf? throwing and shurikens even more like what if her kit just like exploits them so much to where like it, it would just nerf them and as a hero stays bad like I, that, that's like that's what, yeah that's another that's right similar to what i was saying is like you're gonna have some collateral balancing issues yeah. i think they really need to avoid those collateral issues yeah it's gonna be hard to though I mean, they haven't tried to so far. They've just yeah, gone right back. now. Like those, those throne and shuriken changes. Like it only currently only affects Zaheer. But like, imagine if later in the future when there's so much more. Like you're changing every single throwing and like shuriken yeah. weapons. It's so, so much of a change. It's ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. It's 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 not as much of an issue now because we just don't have that many characters. I'm just talking twenty characters get out of the game. Suddenly, every fucking balance issue is so such a headache. Like. Yeah. So I think stop balancing weapons and start balancing characters. It's going to be hard to do that. It really is. Uh, maybe. But at least try to do it instead of doing whatever they're doing now. Yeah. Um, I... Yeah, I, 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 I agree. So, so do you think Sosella is going to be... A problem. Oh, go ahead. No, I wasn't saying anything. I'm just saying the current state of weapons is definitely a problem and how they approach them. Uh, two things I wanted to bring up. Thing number one, sort of a shorter discussion. What about weapon, sorry, character specific weapons? Would that be a way of fixing it? So say, you know, Aya and Isol, they both have access to the pool, the current pool of ARs, but they add an AR that only Aya can use. Would that be a solution? I feel like they would cater it too much to that character to where it would be the optimal weapon. The best choice. Yeah, making it so that all the other weapons that aren't unique to that character are like redundant. Hmm. Maybe, uh, yeah. Well, cause I, okay, but here's the thing. I feel like they already do that. I know it's not that you can only use that weapon for that character, but like, look at Elemental Bow. They're, they didn't balance Elemental Bow because of Nadine. I'll tell you what, they balanced it because yeah. of Hajin. They knew people were going to use fucking Elemental Bow on Hajin. Like, I feel like they already have the idea that, yes, this weapon will probably be the, the weapon for this character. Same with the Chinese Spear. They knew it was going to be the Spear of Choice for Shukai. So I mean, so yeah. why why not just take it a step further and say, here's a new Spear. Like, we're not going to touch the Fangshin Fuaji. But when, when Shukai comes out... He's also going to have this spear, and it's going to be optimal for him. Because we already want that. You know what I mean? I mean, they definitely do already do that, but I don't think they should. I think every weapon should be viable. Like, if you can use spears, you should be able to use all the spears. And maybe there's obviously going to be a best one, or yeah, two best like, ones. I like the idea of having a variety in this game, also... I it, wonder... It's variety just because you know there's optimal builds but uh i like that you can still mess around with alternate or weapons for sure i wonder how they tackle this problem in the mobile game it probably show what they do on uh eternal return i don't know oh, shit so about I, it Go i ahead. actually play a lot of the mobile game i was probably top 1000 in that game at some point so what they do in the mobile game is they mostly gather stats on indi individual characters, and if a character gets out of line, they will just nerf that character's base stats because that game is very much okay. Yeah, so 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 that's what I Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's what they'll do in the future. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I like in League of Legends, for example, right? Like all characters share items too like when you think about it right so like a lot of the balancing is more so around characters than, than the weapons themselves like, yes they, they, they do change the items in the shop and like nerf and buff them but uh 
most changes are mainly to characters themselves. I think it's be because the, it's only shared by a small number of characters, that's why it's harder to balance them. Because if... Because then suddenly these specific like weapon nerfs are more targeted towards characters, but then they're also just... Yes, you're, you're specifically nerfing Nadine by nerfing, nerfing Ancient Bolt, but there's also a very, very small corner case where it's affecting Cajun too. You know, as opposed to like, we gotta turn, we gotta tone down Commander's armor because everyone's abusing it. That's a totally different discussion, to me. Yeah. I feel like it's much easier to, to balance something that everyone has access to than just two characters have access to. But I don't know. This is this is this is all this is all speculation. It's 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 a challenge that they have set themselves up for in making this system. And I'm just concerned in the long term if they'll be able to keep the game fair and uh, not problematic with their designs and their nerfs and their, their changes as they release characters. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but but we, we, in the end we still have to remember though that uh, it is very hard to you know perfectly balance a game and that there will it's... definitely be outliers and strong characters or weapons. It's not, it, yeah, it's gonna be, it's never gonna be perfectly balanced, especially a game like this where they're constantly introducing new things. And to be fair, you don't want a game like this to be perfectly balanced. Honestly. You, like, this is kind of a weird side tangent thing, but this is sort of in game psychology. You'll, you'll shoot for perfect balance, yes, but um, keeping your game constantly refreshing the meta it's it's a it's a game design way of keeping people coming back to the game. Yeah. Because they feel like, oh cool, Hagen's good again. Like I I miss playing Hagen. I'm gonna come back and play. Or like, man, this this meta stale. I've played this matchup 60 times. I'm tired of playing Jackie versus Fiora. Look, Isol's good again. Like this feels fresh. I'm excited to see what's in the balance notes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That that. that definitely uh, adds a lot of replayability yeah there's definitely there's definitely some psych psychology stuff involved in in constantly you know uh s rotating your meta around a little bit but of course they'll, they'll still shoot for perfect balance but it's, it's not going to happen as much as we'd like it to um i had one more thing i wanted to bring up but i think i've completely forgotten it I mean, kind of there is a question. Oh, uh, what's the question? Like, do you think it's a problem that Hygiene is the skill amp character and Nadine is the auto attack character for bows? I mean, so does anyone else I'll have say anything? I, I actually wish like skill amp Nadine uh, works. Like, it seems so fun. This is the idea. It just seems so fun. It, it's I just, think like, it's a problem. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I really want it to work. I mean, I think you just um, uh, make her Q have some like better skill up ratios, and then um, you know. All right. I also like, think... What if when you dash with your E, right, you deal damage to things you dash through? <laughs> you just oh, body slam. Yeah, you just, just dash into someone, <laughs> and you deal AP damage. Let's go. Imagine that. <laughs> gotta imagine. Oh God, yeah, I wish I, I could get body yeah, slammed. Yeah, I, I, I saw your Q is fine already. I saw. I saw the, as well as her W. If you guys didn't know, her W base damage is actually insane. Oh yeah, uh, it's yeah, strong as well. it's... I, I don't think they need to buff anything else uh, for Kira W damage wise, but just adding in the E damage would be pretty meme. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. I, 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 me personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with having a character who's like the spell damage bow and the it's auto attack bow. That's gonna change once they are, start adding more bow characters, though. They're gonna you're gonna start seeing more like, well, now we have two auto attack bows. Like, what do we do? Um, also, my my issue with weapon sharing mostly comes when their playstyle is the same, and it just happened to be that like there was no spell amp AR, but then Isol was like, well, I don't fucking care. I'm still gonna build spell amp and be great. My concern is, well, AR is inherently an auto attack playstyle. So if you have two characters both trying to do an auto attack playstyle, how's that gonna work out? It just didn't turn out that way, despite the fact that there's no spell amp uh, AR. So I don't have a problem with people being put in their nice little defined boxes, but at that point, 
why even have them share weapons? If you don't ever want there to be an AP Nadine, then why does she have an AP bow? You know what I mean? I mean, I think they could do, like, they could encourage, like, auto attack hygiene and stuff. Like, what if her auto attack deal double damage while you're feared or something? I don't know. Mm, that actually sounds pretty interesting. Uh, like, you yeah. can. The characters don't have to be so obviously auto attack a skill amp, in my opinion. Yeah, I I'm fine. I, like, I don't want to decrease diversity in character types or weapon types. I like diversity. I like having the option of playing dumb shit like AP Nadine. I've even played AP Nadine. It was really fun. Yeah, I um, before they before they nerfed Elemental Bow. Does AP mean attack power? Am I going insane? Sorry, I keep saying AP. I don't yeah. know why. Because I think it's because Cal kept old, saying AP. Old yeah, ability power. We'll call it that. No, it's a uh, spelling. So. Oh, it's in league shit. I see. I say it, it, yeah in league in league their their yeah, spell it's shit is called AP yeah, ability attack power. power. Attack damage and Dota. Sorry, I, 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 the old league player in me was coming out for a second. Oh, you were saying AP as an attack power. Well, I'm dumb, so don't even listen to me. I was saying AP as attack power, and then you started saying AP in the DM. Though. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. League of Legends, League of Legends. I haven't even played that game in five years, but it still happens. Old habits die hard. Um. Tangential question, Volcano asks... Uh, wait, no, was it Volcano? Oh, yeah, yeah, Volcano does ask, um... What's a Black Survival character you're looking forward to getting added into the game that's not currently yet in the game? Or, and for, for, for argument's sake, uh, not confirmed for being in the game yet. So, don't say JP. I Do we know who else is confirmed yet? Like, in, in leaks? Is... is is the fire girl confirmed? Have we have we gotten confirmation of that? I don't know. I feel like people have been mentioning her a lot, but I haven't seen anywhere like a release. So I can't like... tell if that's wishful thinking or if they actually found something. Uh, Gino, show it. You guys have been quiet. Character oh, you yeah. want in the game? Um, I do have a pocket character for this. So my Smurf's name is Shoichi. Shoichi's probably my favorite character from Black Survival, but that's not actually my pick because I feel like I'm biased towards that. My actual pick for a character I'm excited for is probably going to be Adela. Can so so for us non BS characters, can you can you tell us what this character does or or about them? Okay. So Adela's thing is that she doesn't exactly need to well, the way she builds weapons is entirely differently because she has a promotion mechanic. She's a chess player, and that translated that into her weapon. Once you've gotten enough attacks off, pretty much once you've harassed enough players, then her weapon will upgrade from a blue weapon to a random purple weapon. Oh, that's cool. A, a, a random purple weapon? Random. Can she use it's any weapon? It's a random weapon? purple weapon of her type. No, just of her type. In that oh, okay, okay. So pretty much you'll random into whatever. And then she can go from purple to yellow if the weapon doesn't break. Breaking weapons is a mechanic in that game. I think it's stupid to worry about. It. I thought you just meant like a random of any type, and you just end up getting like God. a Gatling gun, and you're like, oh no. Be fucking you're wild. Into a, a deadly ray. Mm -mm. It would be a weapon <laughs> she can use, but I just want to see how they translate that into this game. The ability to just upgrade your weapon. Maybe she gets her own specific tree. What weapon type did she use? Um, she used blunt weapons as a whole, which doesn't quite translate here because weapon types are cut into very broad, pretty broad categories in Black Survival. So it's like instead of two-handed sword, dagger, axe, you just have bladed weapons, and oh, then okay. you have you have weapons that stab, hand weapons, throw weapons, bow gun. So so it would blunt be like hammer bat. Yeah, hammer bat. Okay, I like it. So, most likely they'd give her own specific weapon, because pretty much in all of her designs, she's going to have a cane. So maybe they just end up doing something with that, and then they use your promotion mechanic uniquely there. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Does she sound pretty fun? They should put Sua in the game, too. Who? Sua? What does she do? She's a librarian. What does she do? <laughs> so in the I, game... I <laughs> 
So apparently she has this field ability where she can read a book. And she chooses a book of her choice. And then each book has a different effect. One book is, oh, you increase your chance to find items by 10%. You can find two items on fun for a successful search. And then if you read a, this other book called The Blue Bird, Stamina Restored When Resting is plus two. And you can move without using stamina once. And then the third book is like Don Quixote, where you have a chance to find an enemy by like 9%. And your next attack delivers like 12% additional skill damage. So the way I kind of see Sua is she's kind of like an adaptive character. You you play her in a way where she adapts to a situation. So I, I feel like a thing that she could probably do is she could probably be the first class change survivor. I don't know, like, yeah. She could class change mid-match. Like, it's huh. like, how do you want to play your Sua? Do you want her to be a hunter? Do you want her to be a scavenger? Do you want her to, you know, play more defensive? Things like that. Both of those characters sound cool as fuck. Yeah, I'm down. So that they, they, they could do a different spin on Sua, is what I'm saying. But, but yeah. Like, making her have, like, a different mechanic. But then she's kind of <laughs> weird. She's in a weird state as well, like Adela, because she also uses bullet weapons. So she would also be a bat hammer user. Hmm, I would figure they would give her whip because that's also blood. Oh, I think no, they could give her whip because no. The thing, the weird thing about whips is, from what I recall, whips do cut damage. Like you get lashes from whips, right? Instead of welts. So I figure it would be more of a, like blade weapon yeah but they shove it in the blood because blood oh it's categorized as a blunt okay yes it is i'm so all right got it you know draw draw an orange call it a lemon got it right. <laughs> my gosh uh, I'm a... ashley who do you want in the game you say me i've never played the original i have no clue i haven't either but like at least you can look at the characters and see what they do okay design design wise alone <laughs> That's how they look. What can I say at least? Uh, I can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pull up the week. Yes, yeah, somebody, somebody PM him. All right. Well, while he's looking at the characters, uh, do you know our Aethers? Do you have a, a list, do you have a hot opinion? Mm, I'd say uh, Nat Nat Natapon or Nathapon look, looked pretty cool when people when they showed the photograph. I was actually like looking. I looked him up, and he seems like he'd be pretty cool. And I was pretty interested in him uh, being added to the game. I, I've never played the original game either, but uh, I, I'd be down for that. Na Na Nathapon. God, I cannot say his name. I'm stuttering so much. Uh, apparently, he like revolves around like using his camera and uh, affecting like vision and so forth, as well as gaining buffs uh, in that area too, with his uh, t taking pictures in the area. So that I sounds think, cool. Like, so he's like area control kind of a character. Oh, maybe he can do something where he, he where he has like a unique interaction with cameras. Like oh, when you yeah. craft it, he has he can make stuff with them. Yeah. yeah. That's only unique to him. Like everyone can play his cameras, but he can actually do other things with them too. That would be cool. That'd, That'd be really nice. That would be yeah. sick, yeah. Uh Gino. Look at general chat. Oh no, that's cursed. Don't put him in the game. <laughs> He's actually busted in the mobile game too, by the way. <laughs> Let me guess, is I it just Happy sure Rosalio? Yeah, of course it's fucking exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it Alright, yeah, so oh Happy, really... happy Rosalio is is obviously... I mean, Rosalio aside, Happy Rosalio. That's the good shit right there. Oh, yeah, I secured that it? name as well. <laughs> I hope oh, he doesn't bro. become ass. I hope <laughs> you kind of failed me. Bro, he, he already oh, is all ass. Rosalio, I'm looking bro. at it right now. Look at that shit. God damn, he's so oily. Rosalio's Dude, he's like Hakan, man. <laughs> he's well up and ready to go. Oh, no, no, no. He's like Hakan from Street Fighter. Yeah, dude. He... I did not want this. <laughs> oh, man. He's like, man, I can just imagine Rosalio just like dumping a barrel of oil all over his body. God. Oh, yeah. Please slip and slide. Finally, a good character design. Jesus Christ. Now. Yes. <laughs> but Rosalio. They would have to translate him a little differently. So, so what the fuck does Rosalio even do at the moment? I don't. I, all I know is he's got a skin that makes him look like that. Okay, Rosalio he's... is all crit. His crits do one hundred sixty percent damage. 
and his every character has a passive and a combat ability for the most part. His combat ability is he just gets more crit chance the less HP he has. So missing HP, more crit. So he probably just hits you really hard and bursts you down. Is he, already is kind he, of crazy right now. So yeah, yeah, he's like he has a like great Olaf. Knight, he, he's melee, right? He's bat. Yeah, he's melee. Or, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ash, have you have you picked strictly based on aesthetics yet? Yeah, based on aesthetics, Emma looks pretty cool. Hey, Emma? He has a weave. Wow. Damn, check out this <laughs> weave over here. <laughs> Not a weave. That's a okay, but, <laughs> but Emma is actually a pretty interesting choice. She is. She kit wise too, it's really interesting as well. Yeah. She, so, she do be kind of a cutie though. So tell us about Emma. <laughs> okay, so this is Emma's entire gimmick. She. Her HP and her stamina, those bars are pretty low in the base game. So her ability is that she can switch their ratios at any time. So it's like, oh, you have 150 HP and 100 stamina. You press the button, now you have 100 HP and 150 stamina. Ooh. Dep depending on what you need. So is it in order based... to make this gimmick work... Oh, what's up? Is it, it's based on their current values or their max values? Uh, max values. Ooh, okay. So in order to make this gimmick work... She only has HP gain. So you have to switch based on your levels, basically. She's only, when she levels, she only gets HP. So you either choose to balance them out, or you make one bar really, really big. Oh, that's... That sounds cool. That sounds she's, fucking awesome. She's basically awesome. like Morphling, just for Ashton. She's yeah. like the Morphling of Black Survival. Yeah, she sounds super cool. Yeah, she sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> what the hell? Because she can, like, convert her stats and stuff, right? So I think Nimble Neuron can do something like that, where you can fill yeah, like, in stats. That's a survivor. Made me realize how lame some of these additions to ER is. I'm kind of The sad. ones we've gotten so far. I, I, like, I like the implementations of basically every character we've gotten, but they definitely wouldn't have been the ones I would have picked just from, like, designs alone. I think I think what they yeah, wanted to do... I would have put my guess is they wanted to fill the cast with like sort of not too gimmicky characters at first just kind of like this character we're starting with the basic this character attacks you with a spear this character attacks you with a bow like it's just sort of like it's not like i'm gonna swap my hp and mana bar whenever i feel like it like i just want to play my 50 mana 8000 hp go now that sounds awesome yeah cal which I which edgy boy are you spell. talking about I will mention that they have taken some liberties with this game, which is Art, in the original game, is a blunt user. There is Whoa. no such thing as guitars in the original Black Survivor. That's not a thing. It, not not to drag up the old you know, weapon discussion we just had, but Heart is an example of them just giving her her own weapon. No one will ever have fucking guitars. And they balanced it around that. So it, 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 the, the precedent's there. They can do it. But... Anyway. Yeah. If their design suits it, they'll just give them a unique weapon. If they yeah. Them anything else, they like, like the evolution weapon person show was talking about. Yeah, but Vanilla. like, her weapons don't dictate her evolutions, though. I mean, like, they do no, literally mean, for the crafting purposes, but like... I, I mean, a dude who, like, got a random new weapon after hitting things. I don't know. Am I going insane? Oh yeah, Adele. If they could probably, yeah. I'm assuming they're going to give her her own unique weapon to make that work. Yeah. Because if you just RNG, it's like, wait, I wanted to go attack them, and I just ran them into this skill lamp weapon. Well, I guess I'm not having fun. I mean, I think we'll definitely do unique weapons for some characters, but I think in general it should be said. I feel like if if Nibble Neuron chooses to put Jenny in the game, that would also be cursed because Jenny from the mobile game basically has like a uh she's kind of like skeleton king from dota where her ult like you could die once and then you'll resurrect yeah. right and it's oh, a cooldown. that's kind of what jenny does in the mobile version too oh fuck i hate designs like that <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> like, like, never she's dead, good and then she, yeah, runs she away. just faints yeah and then she runs away she's actually like. annoying it's, it's actually just I like those characters. never balanced <laughs> Uh, we, we, do we do we need that? Do we? I don't think we do. I, I, I'm, I'm for. Will eventually come. Therefore, we're going to eventually deal with it. I, I'm all for experimentation. Uh, my my personal pick 
knowing fuck all about the the mobile game is 11 because i think they could do some really interesting stuff both visually with her skill effects and also just she steals food doesn't she she no she 3d prints food she doesn't steal it that's too broken sorry she she, she copies she food. copies food from yeah opponents she she copies go ahead no, no, like, imagine her copying Shikai food. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh god, that's so bad. I was thinking about that. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually messed up. Now, now that we he's actually have like F tier, we actually have a food oh matters my god. character. That's horrible. Yeah, but if he's F tier, then she's never gonna get that. <laughs> you're never gonna get that advantage. No, play no, that's true. <laughs> oh my, that's horrible. Because the because in the mobile game too, apparently uh, Elevens can't steal food from each other. That's the insane part. So the Eleven very mirror important. Yeah, it's actually a massive yeah for 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 good reason. But yeah. I'm actually wondering how they're gonna translate that. So to yeah, the thing PSCR. about the thing about Eleven's kit is that most of her kit so far is basically just Shukai's kit in BSER minus the food. Yeah, copying it's thing. messed up. So it's like honest. she she would basically just get fully redesigned. And I think I think the whole live streamer aspect. I don't know they could probably come up with some cool shit. Um, my other pick would be Shoichi. Because I don't know, they need they need they need they need a character like that. I think he'd be really cool. Oh, you know what they could probably do with Shoichi, right? Since he's a stockbroker, they could do something about the economy of the uh, of the zones in the map, like what has been looted and what hasn't been looted, and make a play off of that. That'd um, be so cool. Yeah, there could be like, there could be some like, cool oh, stuff. Yeah, Shoichi. Could... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Oh no! Oh, sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. I, whatever I was going to say is not relevant. Continue. Oh, okay. I was going to say, like, I'm thinking because he's a stockbroker, right? They can make a play off of, like, I don't know if they can make it his ult or make it, like, a passive. But something to do with, like, what items are being looted. Like, yeah. how many people have looted flowers, something else happens. Or how yeah. many, like, so many people are always looting lighters. So it's just like, okay, so another effect happen happens too. So he can have kind of, like, a presence on the map or something. Like... So yeah. They could do something like that, and I guess that's they could make a play off of off of his occupation, and I think that would be real cool, where he can have like control on that. Yeah, I I, I just like his his design. I like, I think I think everything about it leaves a lot of of room for really like unique sabotage based kits, because he seems like he's just like kind of fucking people over and also being crit focused. Kind of, kind of cool. I, I could definitely. I, I like. I like the idea of sabotage based kits. I think he would be awesome. Like, yeah, locking you out of. Maybe, maybe he just like locks your 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 weapon mastery growth when he's attacking you or something. I don't know, something. That'd be spooky though. Yeah. That that and I'm actually curious how they're gonna implement that. Is the whole the whole uh, what is it? yeah the the phony deal? How yeah. they're gonna make that work in this game? Yeah, so I don't know. I, I think it'd be cool. Those are probably my, my, my two picks. I know I was only supposed to pick one, but like, yeah, if I pick two, it'd probably show, show each in 11. There's a lot of really good designs in the original game. That's a good question. Thank, thank you, Volcano, for asking that. Um, So yeah, I, I think I think we've kind of covered everything we set out to cover. Is there anything else pressing that someone wanted to, to, to talk about? It's, it's probably like 9 a.m. where you're at right now. Are you okay, Eshin? Uh, he, he's, uh, he's, he he's fucking gone. He okay, for okay. What's up for work? <laughs> he didn't even get to sleep. Oh my. My man stayed. He's actually uh, been doing this. He's. You guys just haven't noticed. Dude. Yeah, he, he's a mad lad. Yeah. I was like, oh, he's going to work now? Oh my god. Oh my. He's not asleep yet. Fucking god. You guys are so dedicated. Yeah, there, there's some. Eshin's nocturnal. We've, we've <laughs> been. We've been at it. I mean, I've been streaming for seven hours, but we've been we've been talking here for about two. We just about hit the two hour mark. So, I damn actually was more than I longer than I expected to go. So, yeah, is there anything else anyone wanted to talk about, or should we just sort of wrap it up and send it off? Uh, pretty good. Uh, last thought: zones and zones. This is problematic. Ooh. Really hard to fix though. Yeah, I'm with you there. I think, oh yeah. I think everyone sort of agrees that the the small end zone box mechanic is not the best implementation. It favors melees, and it's currently got a few areas, a few a few 
uh, zones in the map have very imbalanced final zones because it's always based around the console. Um, cemetery, hotel, dock come to mind because they have like large things in the middle that ranged characters can kite infinitely around. You can just chase someone forever. Yeah, I'm wondering though, like, how would you, like, okay, obviously one solution proposed was to change it to not be based on the consoles of the map, right? To just make it kind of a try to what not make it too lopsided for melee and not too lo lopsided for ranged as well so but like how would you would it be like a open field part maybe, of the map maybe you randomize it so people random no, sounds good i don't mm, i feel like if you have random you're just gonna randomly get some fucking terrible end zones there could be incredibly <laughs> well, no, problematic no. area like yeah. like think of ring of elysium you just have certain areas that always like there's three areas per zone that yeah okay that's true end on. yeah so in this other game ring of elysium was another battle royale it had like a like a helicopter would show up and you'd have to try and climb onto it and and per zone there was yeah about three two two to four locations the helicopter could show up at so instead of just having one guaranteed end zone box per zone you could have maybe two to three balanced ones instead right. So it's not you're not that. guaranteed to always get the same fucking end zone. Yeah. In and every zone. It stops people from just trapping it up early. Yeah, because basically, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. My current strategy is <laughs> hit end zone, figure out what the last end zone is, and plop down twenty fucking guillotines on the console, and it works every time. Yeah. So, there's no there's no diffusing that. Situation. There's actually just like very little counterplay. So yeah. I, I think I think yeah, I, I, I'm with you, Gino. I actually like that. I don't think random is the right idea. I think multiple, yeah, multiple yeah, yeah. randomly ones. selected. So like, there's yeah. four possible spots, but only one of them will actually get picked. Yeah, for example. Yeah, I think I'm actually pretty into that one. I, I'm into that. that. Would what if, um, what if the box was bigger? Just slightly bigger. Could That's probably going to be fine, honestly. Because right now, I feel like it favors melee too much. I, I, right now they're really tiny. I think the Dilbok melee can honestly hit you from nearly any part of the box right now. Yeah, it's a little crazy. That's true. Get I I I agree with uh, having a bigger box than a loop, uh, for sure. Yeah. It, it, it's, as long as ranged characters have space for kiting or to distance itself. Yeah. Then that's that's all good. I think that I think they feel pretty cramped right now. What about a wilder take? So instead of a final safe zone, it's just the zone that closes in, like gradually, like your typical BR. I see. Ooh. Like, yeah, it, it gradually well, just turns red, and you have to just like already, you have to start killing each other now. Yeah, but the the thing though that I don't like is that melees can just run away and kite until the zone gets small enough for the range. Yeah, game. I've seen that's happened right? to me. Oh so, no, it, it's I mean, yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Bad. It's, it's the same thing as it currently is. Yeah. But I feel like there would be there would eventually be a break point where it's like, okay, you can't run anymore. Like you'd have yeah. to fight. Yeah. I, I, it would be a little bit more fight. gradual. I, I I could see it working. But it would maybe maybe need to slow down once you start getting looking, uh, what's up? Tearless. What's up? Look in general chat. Okay, I dropped for us. This. Oh, I mean we we, we can throw up. Quick, this is number one player's take on the game. Let's see this. Let's see this. Damn, he has Yuki. <laughs> Damn, and the dude. Whoa, Yo, okay. Yuki's trash? Yeah, Yo. he agrees. He agrees with me. The right. team is bad. Hang on, hang on. Let, me, uh, let me pull this up. Killed. Let me pull this up. I wish he would join Whoever's voice and talk up. to us. It only has Guess says Nadine yeah, is bad, so. and Nadine is bad. <laughs> Yeah, get the Damn. fuck out of here, Ash. You don't know what the fuck you're talking. No, I'm kidding. That's cr <laughs> that's crazy because like I watched his streams and I'm hey. like, this is the gameplay is insane. Hey Jen, hey Jen, what happened? Damn, he puts Hagen that fucking low. And Dylan. Damn, bitch, yeah, do you play Dylan squad? Well. I uh, is he on the previous patch? <laughs> 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 He might be. Oh man, that's. I the thing is, I actually agree with with a lot of this, except I for agree like with a lot of it. The Aya is too high. The, the, like I don't know much about it, so I can't really say. But I feel like I feel like I feel like the Aya heart tier and the Dylan Hajin tier, flip them. 
and I, I and I'm on board. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Like I, I still would put Hagen higher, but man, there's no universe to me where Hagen is below Aya. I just don't agree. Because it's like what Aya has one CC tool. It's like, good though. It. It, I just... It's good, but then but then you look at Hagen where every skill she does inflicts CC, including I think... her passive. I really, I, I can't say I will not speak for him because he's not here to speak for himself. This feels like a solo Q tier list. This does not feel like it's influenced by squad or duo to me. Because I don't know how anyone can think I, I, that Hajin is not higher if you're considering squad it's and duo. very likely considering we're putting Fiora first. Okay. Wait, what is this? He like changed it now. What is this for? Ah, uh, he changed a little bit. Oh, uh, he has an S now, though. Wait, so he it's here. actually massive. What the, the fuck? Okay, he's actually he's actually just fucking with us. I think this was like maybe his old <laughs> before. No, no, he's just fucking with us. Like, there's no way. Oh, possibility. <laughs> there's a there's, possibility. There's no way he's not Wait, what just does that mean? fucking with us. I, I I I don't I don't know. Zahir who, and Aya in S tier. First, and who is most likely to get a shit ton of kills? Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay We've okay. been in interpreting this wrong in entirely. Okay, okay. Oh. oh! Number one is winning games, and number two is kill count. Yeah. In okay, Asia, so. Asian is bad. Oh, okay. What? All right. Yeah. So this is it. Yeah. Damn, sounds like we should be playing on Korea server with a full squad. I think we did do pretty well. We <laughs> gotta teach them that Hajin's broken. What the no, hell? No, 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 this is an NA secret. No, we. we this is it. This, hey, this is the NA method. We never method. adopted our really weird trap method that happens. Remember the fire traps? Yep. Wait, what What did NA do that Korea never picked up on? The fire traps. The fire oh, fire yeah, traps but. We started doing. I mean, we, we all even moved past that, too. They just never looked at it, though. It was kind of funny. That's true. I wonder. I wonder if they're building a lot of traps. It's been. It's been a while since I've played on Korea. Maybe he's thinking solo. Yeah, I really think he's, he's thinking solo solos. only. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, There's a here in S tier though. What on earth? It would make sense in solo though, because he could like instant kill you at like level two. He still could. He still could. Yeah. He still does good damage, but it's not as much as before for sure. I feel like he's not as as oppressive. I think definitely kill power, but that's this is really interesting. I love this. I wish he could express himself. I I wish he could get in here and and speak to us. I don't know if he's in the stream right now. I I I don't know. Uh, let let me see. Yeah. So oh, he he's solo. Oh, he might be be watching us actually. Then what? Is he? Uh, I don't see him in. Like the, no, the I, users I think in the it's chat. Because though. I mentioned teams, so he said uh, I made. But oh, well. so, someone, you, someone uh, link my stream so he knows that we're, we're in here talking. I want to hear his thoughts. Like, I want to invite him to our voice channel. He speaks like he does speak English. some English. Yeah, I, I've never, and he's on his phone, so I don't know. Oh, that's true. He is on his phone. He made it based on solo standards. Okay. I still think Dian Lin is better than he thinks. It might just be that because Dai and Hyojin were really weak for so long, it's kind of hard to see them as stronger, especially probably in the KR more aggressive meta. I think they just didn't end up picking up those characters as much. Yeah, that's my guess as well. They're just not playing them. At the moment, and yeah, I just see a bunch of Magnuses when I play KR. Yeah, I, I play when I there. There's like six Magnus. When when I recently played KR. Hey, what's up? What's up, Maria? We uh yeah. When I've played KR, it's been mostly like Magnus, Jackie, Hyun. Like that's all I ever see Fiora. I'm curious about Aya being so high, and I'm very curious about Zahir, and I'm curious about Hajin being so low. If you want, uh, if you feel like hopping in the voice channel and, and giving your thoughts, you're welcome to. Oh, if you'd rather just e explain yourself in the chat, you're welcome to do that too. It oh, you're like outside. That. Ah, shoot. That's too bad. But maybe another time. That'd be cool. We'd love to, we'd love to have you on. I 
I thought that was interesting. It's a really interesting take. I love I love seeing such a vastly different uh, opinion from from NA players. It's it's like so significantly different. It's it I love it because it shows that we are of a, a more inbred meta. Like every server has their own sort of inbred meta. And we don't yeah. we don't have all the answers, yeah. and perhaps neither do In they. The end, we all came to nearly the same conclusion, but KR just has something entirely different. But then KR well, shows more. up and our bottom tier is potentially an S tier. Like, that's wild. At least we all agree that Shukai is terrible. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm surprised he has Yuki on the same tier, though. Because Yuki is quite Yuki low. Yuki is bad, though. I don't, ag I, I don't think he's good. As the other three he has found It out. could be that. Was this the kill potential one? He's this not the worth yeah, chasing sorry. now, because they just nerfed his E so hard that he's not sticking. He's just not finishing well. Yeah, he he. It's interesting. I feel like I feel like I haven't seen enough Yuki players to really make my decision. But at the same time, I feel like Yuki's just the worst Fiora right now. Yep. But we, I feel like we've already covered that. But yeah. Dylan Dylan I mean, being low is interesting too. Dylan being below Heart is interesting. I just think I don't see Dylans on Korea. Do, does Korea not play Dylan? I significantly less so. Yeah. God, that's so interesting. Like we have dedicated Dylan players on our server. True. And then they showed everyone that she's actually good. No, they but they have dedicated Dylans too. Isn't not really? answer? Isn't doesn't he play Dylan? He's Korean, right? I think. I I wouldn't really know actually. I I swore not answer played. I well, could he be. did. Yeah, Was I'm he not... Korean? I'm not sure if he's Korean. I'm I think sure. I think. I thought he was NA. No, no, the the well, answers were not, not Korean, or we're not we're not NA. I don't. I thought they were Korean. They could be Chinese. I don't know. Okay, so he, so he does. He sees a few diamonds. He sees a few diamonds. Oh. But uh, basically, from what I've seen in KR, what he put in the first tier list, who can get first? That's pretty much what KR is playing. They're playing those four. Tiers. Yeah. No, I I agree with their. I agree with their S tiers. That's. Almost exactly what my S tier was, just without Pigeon. Okay, but here's the big difference. They're playing a lot more Parashu than they're playing Heart. That's they are playing a ton play. of Parashu. Yeah. Why it's Parashu? Is it easier to make? It is one zone faster. Which is good. Also got cooldown yeah. reduction, right? It also has movement speed. Yeah, it's a build that gets 50% CDR, which is the big thing. 50% CDR Jackie is incredibly annoying. If you thought she was annoying before, you're never getting away from Gilbok, Karashi, Jackie. Yeah, I agree with that. I still think Harp is uh, arguably better, but I'm not a Jackie player, so my, my opinion does not matter nearly as much. He made a solo and duo one. Oh, let me see. Which, I the S tier is the same as mine. Wait, wait, this is solo and Whoa, duo? Wait, 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 Shukai, Explain. where are you going? Shukai, why Shukai? Why Shukai? Going? He's hopping up. No, well, Sh Shukai got the CC, uh, the CC, you know. Yeah, definitely, it's like everyone He's not the worst. CC is good in team play, 100%. I don't think Shukai's even good in team play. I, I, uh, I don't I, think he's I, as I, worth it. He's he makes food for the whole team, team and he has CC, know. and he's still not worth it. His ult's like insane in team play, like imagine that. I, does it do damage? I I, my, I legitimately don't have enough data. I don't see Shukai's live past the first two minutes. <laughs> His ult does get damage, trust me. <laughs> it definitely does. It's just hard to hit the whole thing. Why, if you're in team play, it's easier, though. Oh, as you get some to team. stop, right? Yeah. Well, no, as, long, as long as you can space yourself, like, even though he's a melee character, like, as long as you space yourself to where he's ranged and can effectively hit his ult on, like, a good team, or, like, on, like, most of the team, and not have them like cross him up as long as he hit, hits every single one of his flames it's big damage seems weird because you kind of want to kite with him but he has a spear it doesn't really make yeah, sense at yeah first. We, we, we just fight in team play like you, you don't really have to kite like yeah yeah you have front lines with you you just sit in the back and you just ult right there and, and if your ult's off cooldown you can just you know dive in and provide cc like the rest apparently attaboy is playing shukai and doing well oh okay I mean, if Attaboy does anything well, let's play weird shit. 
and put up results. Ada is such a unique player. Yeah, I was running into him earlier as well. He was doing okay for sure for his character. It's just a feels bad moment when he's on Sniper Aya though. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you hate to see it. It's like, bro, you're you're like one of the really good Magnuses and you're gonna do people dirty like this. Yeah, it's funny, like, I don't think I've ever even seen him play Spelling Up Magnus. He just plays weird Magnus. It's always been his MO, is like, I gotta play weird Spelling Magnus. Spelling Up Regen Magnus, where he went Fang Mason all Regen. It was very funny. He, he, he does love his Regen Magnus. He, he is sort of the OG. Yeah, can't argue with that. Um, but yeah, wow, what a... He, he rates Zaheer way better than we do. He really does. Are we underrating Zaheer right now? Well, uh, Zaheer just has an extremely low play rate right now. We're just uh, not trying. Post update. To, like, uh, yeah, I, I haven't played at all post update. Uh, the times that I played on the KR server, like, rarely anyone plays Zaheer. I will see maybe one Zaheer every, like, five minutes. All right, games. All right guys, I'll, I'll bust out some Zaheer in custom games the next few days. Oh shit, dude, I can't wait. So he says, he says B through D is similar, I think. Um, heart is B, but not good. Sad face. Which is interesting. So maybe Kinda like a, a low, somewhere between B and C tier. Yeah. Like I said, I don't have issues with heart anymore. Except I, for like really early. Yeah, but then heart has to be a little better than Aya, so that's just a funky spot to be in again. It is a yeah. funky spot to be in. I agree. Wait, why? I, it's curious that his Hajin is so high all of a sudden. Uh, teams, I'm assuming. Teams. Teams. This is just teams. teams. This character's busted. Hajin is, yeah. Yeah. You put a Magnus or a Hyun with Hajin, and she's just impossible to deal with. Like, he's just a really powerful backline, uh, backline survivor. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's hardly even backline. She can just be in the front. And oh yeah, yeah. She could choose suddenly be in, and then you're dead. Yeah, and one solid ult right in the front, and yeah, good luck. Yeah, if she ever eats in, you're assuming she's gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah, they, like you need to not be in her e trajectory. That's very true. Yeah, there. Well, there's one time uh, I forgot how much of a paper agent was. Uh, pretty sure Gino landed a two man stun on the team. I warped point blank onto them to you know because like they're all like 400 health each i thought i, I would have got them well uh their hyun stunned me back as soon as i warped on them i just vaporized me lost that entire fight it's kind wow. of <laughs> oh ash is here <laughs> ash came back he sensed that someone was calling him australia <laughs> <Man. laughs> <laughs> uh. nah don't listen to him don't listen to him he's lying to you my psyops is working. <laughs> oh man, we're so close. <laughs> Damn it, we almost we almost shifted we almost shifted, we almost shifted the timeline, dude. God damn. Alright. Well that's I think I think I have just about hit every point that I could possibly hit at this point. Does anyone else want to say anything or should we wrap it up? Yeah, it um, does need good. work. I think that's just about it. Okay, well, I, I guess that's going to do it for, for me and everybody here. Uh, I really, really want to thank everyone for coming out and doing this. I really want to thank everyone for staying up this late <laughs> to listen to us just yammer on about, you know, random thoughts about the game. So thank you so much for coming out and watching. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Ashen, Shoix, Gino, uh, Aethers, and, and Diner at the end for coming in. Um, and yeah, that was a lot of fun. We should do this more often. I love I love shit like this. I look forward yeah. to it. I'll always get stuff in What the hell? He's back. Yeah, he yeah. came back just because we caught him last year. That's <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be at work right now? Dude, in no, 10 minutes. To be in 10 minutes? All right, well, we better yeah. we better, we better wrap this up before then. Can I just ask if this is this tier list a joke or oh. something? <laughs> oh, no. Any no, it's... One player, you can't say you that. You and I can have a debate in the... In the chat, the text channel with each other. Yeah, we can. We can. I, I'd love to see you two argue. <laughs> yes, you guy very strong. He's an A tier. This is messed up. This is a Boy, solo yeah. and duo. To see, account team play. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm welcome. Or I, I welcome. I welcome outside opinions. Don't. We, we could just be playing them wrong on NA. They could know something we don't. It's 
I think they need to know a lot of things. We All don't. Alright, time to go through the VODs. <laughs> <laughs> I, ha I have seen him I playing a lot of Shukai. Shukai. But, uh, really? I, I don't think he, he'd do better than Heijin, though, for sure. Which is what the Shilis says, too. Well, not the most recent one. Thankfully, she's back in her, her rightful yeah. place up with her homeboys, Magnus and Hyun. Yes, fellow CC bot. <laughs> Team, like, see all the CC, CC cool ships squad. Up. Her two bodyguards. It's actually just the perfect team comp up there. Squad. But yeah, anyway, so that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching, and uh, thank you everyone for, for joining us. And uh, yeah, good night, guys. Good night. Yeah, good morning. Good night.